Ricky Sweet can't be with us today. And I know he loves this so much. There we go. That. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the best part of the show. Come on. Thank Thanks for having yeah. me today. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Peace out. Hello and welcome to the Padded Room number 14. Wow. We're getting and, no, and nobody's been arrested yet. Nobody's been arrested yet. There have, been 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 too. there have been a few casualties, but, you know, all the bodies have been safely tucked away, yeah. so we're all right on that. Collateral okay. damage is expected. Yeah. Mm. Okay, with us today, we have Jason Aston, Jen Amato. <laughs> They're finally separated 3,000 miles apart. So <laughs> the violence of this episode will no doubt be lower. <laughs> My liver. Quit talking my, shit. You mailed me something, remember? I have your address. My <laughs> liver, my liver is, is thanking me for that too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, also we have our Hollywood contingent, Dungeon Dandy Bell. Hello. We have Doc Fried. Our special guest G'day. Jack Pildress. Hello. Scott Baker and Radio icon, Amy Brooks. Hello. Yay. I don't know about that, but thank you. <laughs> and our, our comment. comment ninja ninja ninja. Is there he is. The Hi, Tim. And so is Angel. Hey, Angel. So hey, Angel. Is... That's most likely Rachel. <laughs> you hear that thunder oh, on my end? I, so hear, I hear. I hear. That what that was? It sounds wow. like maybe yeah. rain. Wow. Yeah, we God got storms moving through this whole we, area. We finally came together. God is angry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's running. Oh, the devil's applauding. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with myself now. This was a life goal. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough to accomplish things early. <laughs> hey. Hey. James, how are you? James Hello, James. And yes. just like that, Jen's knees got weak. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Fan going. <laughs> yeah. you know, no. not here, so can somebody make sure they do the schoolgirl laugh when that word comes up? That's all I ask. For. Oh, do real it. quick. Um, do it. Do it. Lee Edwards, it. Lee Edwards <laughs> is trying to find us. Is he going to find us in Asylum of Fear? Is that where he needs to go? Yeah. 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 The asylum of fear. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, Doc has the has the dubious distinction of being the only human, the only human being alive who has read Full Metal Zombie. Wow! Wow! Lucky you. And it's worth reading. It, 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 it's, it's it good. was good. It was the best you've written so far. He didn't kill Jonesy, did he? No, no, don't say anything. No, no, come on, what are you doing? Oh, it was violent as hell. His guts were hanging out. It was just not for the young. I'm getting caught up with the last two books before I. It read might not those. be as good as Scott's no books, or you know. oh, oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> I know. Well, I can't let his head get too swollen. You know how that is. I'm working on the second Chronicles of Paul book, and I've gone full Dead Rising with this one. I have a great Ooh, scene yes. where they have, where they fight zombies with stuff from a Home Depot store. Oh, hey, there we go. Sweet. Okay, wait a minute. Just send me that book. I, I just, <laughs> <laughs> that that is my shit. <laughs> yeah. Have you started reading the Epic Mayhem yet, Doc? No. Oh. You've got to be kidding! I don't have. You just I, sent it to me. Mama Mia. I think you'll enjoy it. That's a good oh, yeah. one. That's I think a good you'll one. enjoy it. Yeah. Give me but a couple anyway, days. No, no, no rush. No big deal. Um, anyway, in theory, 
The topic for today, this evening, whatever time zone you're in, is alternative history. As in, if you go back and kill Hitler when he's a baby, what kind of history would we have from then on? Is that what you're talking about? There there are those. Now, there's there's one bit of alternative history that some people may not know was written as such. I'm talking about the Lord of the Rings. J.R. Tolkien was a professor of linguistics and I believe folklore. Hmm. And I, I could be wrong about that, but I, I'm pretty sure I know it was linguistics. Um, and was English, a professor of the English language. That was his official title at Oxford. He hung out with C.S. Lewis, another famous author of the period. And the two of them used to talk to commiserate about the fact that unlike all the European countries, France, Italy, Spain, Germany, the whole nine yards, who all had their own mythology, England really didn't. Because the Britons who lived there first were um, conquered by the Romans, then conquered by the Saxons, then conquered by the Normans. So they had those people's history. They didn't have their own. Hmm. Who, who were the Normans? The, uh, Rock, Rockwell? The Norman, Nor- the Storm and Norman, Norman, Norman. Storm and Norman. Yeah, it, was, it was Norm from Cheers. He hung out. Figures. Knocked their ear off and drank. Uh, he heard they had some good beer. And- Every time he walked into London, the city would go, no. The, the official historian for him at that time would obviously have been Cliff Clayton. <laughs> because, yeah, vast knowledge. But anyway, right. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis both decided to write their own British mythology. Mm. Tolkien wrote The Lord of the Rings. C.S. Lewis wrote Narnia. Mm. I think they did all right for themselves. They did okay for themselves. And yes... Smarty pants. (laughs) Somebody had to be. Pretty pretty smart for a corrections officer there, pal. (laughs) (laughs) I you was could have done I, the same thing. You have access to Google and you're saying I, I was. Well, yeah, no. That's <laughs> yeah, my no. today. <laughs> but somebody else, Scott, throw us out some alternative history. The one that the first book that comes to mind, and I am ashamed to admit I bought it and never read it, was Turtle Doves, The Guns of the South. That was the one where somebody from the future goes back to Gettysburg and gives us General Lee, not General Lee, um, yeah, General Lee, (laughs) AK-47s. And, of course, they win the Battle of Gettysburg and change the whole course of history. But I, And then Turtle Dove did this whole bizarre series in which aliens invade at the beginning of World War II, and you've got, like, Stalin and Hitler and Churchill working together to defeat the aliens. But I've never read any of those books. But, I mean, it's, it, it's so prevalent out there. I mean, um, oh, Final Countdown. Countdown. You know? <clears throat> Final Countdown was... What a uh, way to get frozen. Here we go. I know. <laughs> Baby bird, uh, put a, the future put a coin the... right in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the NSA guys. Their their connection screws me up <laughs> every time. Every time. Yeah, Final Countdown was a modern uh, aircraft carrier yeah. goes through some kind of magnetic storm and finds itself in the Pacific near Hawaii on December sixth. Yeah. 1941. Didn't they make a movie of that called The Manhattan Project? No, that's Final Countdown. Is, is, is that the movie? Oh, that's the movie. There, I thought there yeah. was, maybe, maybe I'm... Yeah, I think you're thinking of the Philadelphia Experiment. That's yep. the one. Yeah. That is the one. Um, one 
they made into it was a Philip K. Dick book, and I don't know if anybody's read any of Philip K. Dick's. Oh yeah, books. Last <laughs> yes, this man, he was ahead of his time. But man in the high castle. Yes, yes. yes. I yes. hated the book, but the the TV series was phenomenal. The Amazon Prime. I'm, I'm, yeah, I was actually very very in love with the TV series yes. and the book. Well, the reason I turned around, I have some alternate history here for you. By Alethea Morgan, Infected Water, A Titanic Disaster. So you oh. see her name. We got zombies on the Titanic. Oh, I'm going to have to get that one. Uh, and it's, get and it's, that it's, one. It's not a massive book. It's a real nice, easy read. Infected Waters. Very good stuff. And the cover, oh, it feels so silky. I love it. It's you guys mm. are just making my list so much longer. Well, this I'm is definitely mine's huge. And uh, this is part of a <laughs> series of books. So this book stands <laughs> alone, yeah, and then she uh, has others that follow it that are different points of history that mm. she writes in uh, her own versions of. So huh. she's good stuff. Cool. That's go, what she said. Go get this because <laughs> that chick right there is freaking creepy. Oh my right god! Th right there, buddy. Yeah. That's not that is yeah. creepy, actually. Yeah. Jason, 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 you're already separated by 3,000 <laughs> miles. Do we need to separate you further? Um, really? Yeah. Good like luck. Mars and Venus. Listen, Dungeon Dan said it was huge, and all I said was that's what she said. <laughs> that's what they always say, actually. <laughs> not what they, they always say. say, I will have you know. Not what they always say. Well, well not what, what she I, always I, says. No. What I want to know I think it's the whole thing. What I want to know is who the hell is she? <laughs> Anybody. <laughs> Who is she and why is she touching you? Yeah. <laughs> you mean that isn't 10 inches? Really? Yeah, no. Apparently no. Not. Lady yeah. died expressed disappointment on the honeymoon, thought all rulers were 12 inches. Oh. <laughs> right, See, that's why, that's why I do, a all, dad joke. I do all I do all my measurements in metric. Millimeters. <laughs> yeah, as I said before, they could do call me the angry inch. <laughs> oh, that was sort of funny. Jeez, everybody's just like, what? I laughed. <laughs> well, yeah, I was expecting it. But <laughs> Jason I, 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 I didn't hear you. <laughs> you just scared Jason off completely. Yeah, Jason. He was like, he was like he's, I'm out. <laughs> he's no, that I wasn't got the high proof shit. I'm not fucking around with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Wait, how far are we, are we into the show? Have we oh, broken the record? Thirteen uh, minutes. Actually, actually, it's taken us a little longer today than normal. Yeah. yeah. yeah we're so, game. is the sequel to the uh, to the uh, infected waters chaos on the Carpathia because they end up picking up these zombies? Oh, mm? uh, oh. I'm not yeah. sure of um, We uh, might we need to get a hold one. of her. As we mm -hmm. can see, I'm still Somebody needs making to call my way her. through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll definitely find out because I know she's got several books in this series along with her uh, Against Zombies series that she does, which is a pretty neat concept too. You know, moms against zombies, alone against zombies, military against zombies, and on and on. And moms against sure zombies sounds good. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. it's on the wall no. back here. Up oh, there. Really? That is a book? Yeah. It's got to yeah, be better than that movie I started watching on Tubi, <laughs> MILF versus Zombies. Oh, my oh, God. That was so bad, even I shut it off. Oh, the title well, Jen, alone. Jen wrote that book. That yeah. book is Whoa. about Jen's life. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> Did you I, I'm old. I like Gilf. I guess. Thank you for small favors. <laughs> is that what she said? <laughs> is that that what is what she said. said. Actually, I think that's what she did. <laughs> that is none of your business. <laughs> well, then why did you send me a video? You, you got the video? <laughs> you were supposed to pay her. <laughs> yeah. After watching, after watching, uh, watching that, I'm putting her on the payroll. Yes, <laughs> Angel. Jack, Jack blew, blew the whistle. whistle. Who's with right. <laughs> no, no, no. She has a conductor whistle. Out of here. 
Jack has oh. a conductor whistle oh. when we get off. Too crazy. Oh, okay. Oh, right. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we know we're in trouble. Okay. And we're going into the whole, the whole train oh. thing. So oh, this Jack is, has to bring us into line. We're really bad. If the yeah. shit, if shit gets real, ringmaster. Oh I yeah. I uh, love it. Put this on. If you wear that, I'm gonna want to like buy potions and stuff. Don't make me get my unicorn hat. <laughs> <laughs> unicorn <Yes>. hat. <laughs> Oh Maybe that God. needs to be the I want thing to see going this. forward. Everybody with a weird hat on. Maybe we have a weird hat show. My hat's not hat weird. I don't have a weird hat, but these sunglasses. The, whoa. Everybody's getting whoa. Oh, there you go. Hang on. Hold up. Just a minute. Hang on. Uh, wait. I, I've been, been building a hat. <clears throat> I ain't getting oh, like left alone on this one. <laughs> In Soviet Russia, the computer watches you. Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> yes, I work for Admiral Kisov. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I forgot I had these sunglasses. I like these. <laughs> well, I am Get Jack Mehoff. Pleasure. <laughs> I am gonna Hugh be, Janus. Who's going to be Mike Hunt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm new here. I'm not nominating anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not not Bill Free. I was going to say alcoholic, but I didn't want to get a bunch of dirty looks from a bunch of guilty faces. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pot calling the kettle black. Yeah. I'm not an alcoholic. Drunk. I'm a drunk. Alcoholics go to meetings. <laughs> right, exactly. Good point. Beat me on that one. <laughs> no laughing. Beat me, Jen. Come on. No, that, you were the one with the dirty mind today. I uh, know. Same, I've, same. I've got lots of issues today. <laughs> All right. I, I told you. Go down. Jeff, go down to the last Facebook. Yeah, group. you got to go down to the last Facebook. Thing. What the hell yeah. did I now, nope. oh, one, one up. One up. It's the, see, there you it's go. the NSA guy. God, everybody froze. Now okay. there's going to be a black van parked out in front of my house for a week. <laughs> Why is Zuckerberg coming in with these comments? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to say shit like that? Put your name in, please. It's all we have. They're not allowed to by law. <laughs> hey, hey, Linda hey. From Tim. Listen, Linda, listen. <laughs> what the hell are well, we what doing are we here? talking about? Alternative history. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Well, that's why I was that is alternative with. history. Yeah. What if Jen started. had not brought up the weird sex shit? That's alternative history right there. And it just happened. We all watched. It's always me. You always blame me. You need to find me a situation where that didn't happen first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We, 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 we waking up on an entirely different world. You know, it's too bad Ricky's not here to do his he <laughs> That would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. You want to talk about Alternative histories think about people like um, Scott Bakula playing Dr. Sam Beckett. You know, oh, and oh, yeah. look oh, yeah. at all those alternative histories that he went through. Um, yep. You know, and that's Sam Beckett back. And Quantum Leap. Yeah. yeah. Yep. They're bringing that back. I know. I'm, I'm a little worried. Yeah. I mean, it could be good, but. It's hard to beat Bacula and um, the other guy. I can't think of his uh, Dean Stockwell. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's a good question from Lee Edwards right there. And that's Lee Edwards, in case anybody's wondering. All uh, right. Say, so have you seen the mockumentary If the South Would Have Won the War? No, I haven't seen that. No, that would be I good. haven't either. Be an interesting one for sure. How do you think that would go? Uh, there'd be a well. lot of cornbread and beans and biscuits and gravy all across the country. <laughs> yeah. That's we already got that. that going on. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm all for that part. Yeah, I think it's that whole slavery sure thing. There, right? there might yeah, be. That, a, yeah, a I would. I was going to say there might be a lot of inbreeding. I'm sure in the right house that's looked at as actual history, and everybody else is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you, but do you think slavery would have just phased itself out had the South actually won? Eventually, I I kind of feel eventually it would. I mean. Yeah, because or, the rest of slowly or there'd be the uprising. Well, mean, there's the, a we've done more anti-slavery things here in the U.S. than any other country in the world. We've taken more steps against it. We were one of the first countries to declare it illegal. Uh, you know, we would have it just would have continued for another seventy-five or hundred years. Industrialization pretty much killed would have killed slavery anyway. Yeah. 
I agree. You know, I agree. The industrial res revolution would have been the end of it eventually. Um, yeah, yeah but I, I don't think I don't think there's a single legitimate scenario in which the South would have won that war. Oh. It's just it's simple mathematics. Oh, so I I so I gotta disagree. I think if the South could have won it in the first couple of months after the first bull run. I mean, we were all just screwed up. We, every, we had people going out from Washington to watch the battle. And we got out, the, the North got its asses handed to it. If Lee had gone yeah. in and taken Washington, you know, I yeah. think this, you know, and I think it would have been. Well, yeah, but Lee wasn't in charge then. Oh, Lee, that's right. Lee didn't take over for almost a year. But whoever was in charge, if they had been able to do it, but they, they didn't have the people to do it with, and that yeah. ultimately is why there's no way in hell they won the war. The the North had yeah. them outclassed in everything. Yeah. People, supplies, weapons, the whole night. There's no way in hell the South could have won that war. Mm -hmm. it just no. Yeah, but the Southerners are anyway, dirtier than the Northerners. It's just like we won the Civil War. I mean, the uh, Revolutionary War, because we did not stand in lines and, you know, fire and then, you know, oh, yeah. uh, kneel right. down, reload. We used guerrilla yeah. tactics. Hi, we did to the British what the Vietnamese did to us. <laughs> right. Right. Yes. I still yeah. struggle with that whole concept of civilized warfare. Yeah, we're going to stand in a fucking in line Lincoln and take pot shit. Well, the whole yeah. history of warfare is one guy coming up with a unique way to defeat another. the other defensive system that's worked for years. Yeah. Well, and the other thing that flew by was what about if we'd supported Hitler and we actually were supporting Hitler for a while? Wow. Well, not the government. If you go back and look at our history, well, history we weren't anti history, uh, anti Hitler in the beginning. Well, that goes for, um, I mean, you can look at Al-Qaeda, too. We did support Al-Qaeda yeah. with firearms yeah. a long time ago, and then yeah. they turned on us. So I think, we did they turn on us, or did we turn on them? No. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I, I think it was they turned they on turned us, and we us. were like, well, screw you, I'm going home. But um, oh. it was also, you know, they, uh, because we wanted Osama because he was on our side. We wanted him way back in the day. And I don't remember the, <clears throat> the specifics about it. I just remember blurbs and bits and pieces. But we we fed them guns. We won, We were trying to get... Um... <laughs> Hi, whoever that is. Oh, it's Carly. Hi, Carly. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Carly. <laughs> uh, it's my oldest daughter. <laughs> so um, we... Well, yeah, we Lindbergh was them. definitely a sympathizer. Yeah, yeah, we, we wanted it. Osama. So is Henry Ford. Henry Ford was a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not forget Walt Disney. Oh, he's awesome. Oh, oh yeah. His head is still frozen somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should. Yeah. Right beside Hitler's head. <laughs> well, without Kyle's wish. We I'm sorry, them. Jen. I didn't mean to interrupt you. We you always them. do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's totally totally fine. You we have to get the Russians out of Afghanistan. And then when we put <clears throat> in Saudi Arabia and kept yeah. them there against Saddam Hussein, yeah. then they put, did the jihad against us because, you know, infidels were on the immortal Muslim holy land. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, there was a... Yeah, that was... Yes, that was, yes, yeah. Charles Wilson. I, that is such a fascinating story. Oh, I just another... want to back up for a second. I'm still laughing the fact that Jen made the United States, <laughs> and I can't say she's wrong, sound like Eric Cartman. For <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, I'm going home. <laughs> um, I also wanted to kind of put in there another alternate <clears throat> reality. Erin Rand, when she wrote, um, oh crap, now it just, well, I lost it. When talking it, about, you um, lost it Atlas hours Shrugged. Atlas Shrugged. Atlas Shrugged, thank you. When, yep. when that yeah. went out. That was that was another one that was very alternate universe -y. Alternate book, reality. 
I, I read that book, that 1100 page tome. It's, God, there's, it's so there's a hard. section in there. There is a section in there where she goes on this 25 page rant. I, I, I shit you not, it's 25 pages long. What? And it's just like, shut the hell up, lady. <laughs> Tell the damn story. Lee Edwards, that's another good one. Butterfly effect. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I like the first but, one better than the second one. But. But, but back to Tim's point about the Nazis, there is, of course, the alternative history of Inglorious Bastards. Yes. yes. I still that's have never seen that history. movie. I that's still have never seen history. it. Hitler gets assassinated. We know that didn't happen. Right. Call me down. Still have never seen it. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good movie, that. except for, oh. you know. The interview. The, uh, was it Seth ah. Rogen? <laughs> where they, they go over to South Korea or North Korea. Right. North Korea. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. And, uh, yeah. That one was That, that, that one, one was funny. Good. That What's definitely. Movie for history. I always got a kick out of Red Dawn. <laughs> Red yeah. Dawn. <laughs> we yeah. got invaded. Like I don't really see how it would work in the middle, but hey, whatever. Made for a good movie. <laughs> hey, check out Zomunist Invasion. Yes. By uh, Courtney Constantine. So what? Nails it. Oh Ooh. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Courtney. What was it? Where did uh, you uh, Zomunist Invasion. The list is getting so, bigger. Yep, slap a Z at the first of communist, yeah. and you you got your word, and it is really good, and it all yes. happens just like that, like. Yeah. Son of it's a like what do I do Dawn now, Jim? Dawn, Day of the Dead. I don't know who said the list is getting bigger. That's me. Ooh, it's just Dan, getting longer. Right? She just hears getting bigger, and then her brain turns into Beavis. Go right? ahead, Jed. Yeah. Say it. You want to say it? it, it it's, it's the phallic symbol she's wearing on her head. <laughs> no one gets to stroke my horse with me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now. Okay. <laughs> it, it took you long enough. I've only said like 800 <laughs> sexual references. <laughs> well, I wanted to see if you could get to that mark before I gave you the whistle. Because <laughs> look, if I if I'm gonna blow you, you gotta earn. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Jack. You're always blowing something. Uh, <laughs> well, Jack, off to a great start. Yeah, and I've had to drop the camera. I Gotta keep freezing up. up like every sixty seconds, but whenever I drop the camera, it seems to be okay. So, wow. yeah. no, what uh. Tim was saying about Japan, I find that interesting. <laughs> yes, because I mean, you know, we we put all the Nazi war criminals on trial for the concentration camps and that, mm -hmm. but Unit Seven Thirty One, we covered that shit up. You know, they they made some great medical discoveries by brutalizing the Chinese POWs. Echo. We, we let him. We let Ishii go. We told him just go away, shut up. You know, and then a few years later, we started. You know, the American Medical Society started introducing these new discoveries. We did. We let them. We let them get away with what the rape of Nan King. Yeah. The yeah the the. Yeah. I suspect, I mean, nobody's ever come right out and said it officially, but I'm sure it had to do with the fact that we nuked two of their cities. I was, t I thought, I believe that MacArthur told Truman, if we put the royal family on trial, we're going to be there fighting the Japanese for a hundred years. Yeah. Which is why, if you look at the Japanese war crime trials, even though members of the royal family led military units, the na rape of Nanking was led by a member of the royal family. He was never put on trial. And Hirohito was turned from the, the, the emperor of Japan who started World War II to this old guy that used to play with clocks and play in his garden. Oh, <laughs> He just had to come in Stop here. Him. So I figured put him on camera for a minute because we used to do this with Zeus all the time. So. Oh. There's Tui. There he is. It's a little hairless happy. wonder. Oh, yep, no hair. No hair. I thought that <laughs> was like, me. Uh, yep. Well, hey, <laughs> as you're doing that, it's not quite like him unless your head feels like a nutsack. 
Wow. Oh, oh, you were right there. Right <laughs> <off>. <laughs> 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 well, he's he's, he's kind of got it hemmed up right now. There we go. So, so, so Jack, <laughs> I, yep. I'm, yeah, there I, I'm curious as to how you came by this information. Are you no, don't ask somehow question. an expert on how nutsack feel? Or? Well, I, I do take a very, very great care into mine. You know, they've got to be nurtured, caressed, and loved because they're special. They are very special. Why do you think it hurts so much when you accidentally hit them? Yeah. They're special. I, I kind of hope you don't keep putting your hands up when you're talking about this because you're freaking me. Especially when cupping, I'm you know. in the cupping <laughs> motion. <laughs> yeah. Just, hey, none of this. We don't want this. He should be boasting. They well, say I walk bow legged. Do I don't know. Oh, poor Landa. <laughs> poor Landa. <laughs> oh, wait, we got company. We're being bad. <laughs> I, I've, been, I've been trying to get Landa on the show for months. It's never going to happen now. And she, well, she no, finally, not after that. She finally shows up in the audience making comments, <clears throat> and this is. Oh, you poor get. thing. You mm -hmm. poor thing. <laughs> Alternate so history, alternate history to a description yes, of Paul. Yes, <laughs> you guys see this? <laughs> who, who is that Facebook user? That Lee, we, what? that's Lee what? Edwards. Lee Edwards. <laughs> yep, and I, I'm not surprised by that. Wait, wait till we do our show in the morning, Mister. And there's Rachel. There's Rachel. Sweet baby Lucifer. There's Rachel. We've been, we've been waiting for you. <laughs> You missed it earlier. It was way oh, earlier. Oh, yeah. And I'm Shit. supposed to be the freaking conductor of this damn thing. Uh, you ain't doing a very good job, bro. Rolling down the hill, Jack. Look, Did I might have <laughs> lied on my resume, is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of oh, like wait, a vampire. I'm like a vampire. You know, y'all let me into the house. It's on you now. We're supposed to turn in resumes? <laughs> How the fuck I did I get here? <laughs> Dude, That's I, what I think, I'm saying. I, I think chloroform was involved in your case. <laughs> yeah, probably. You were, it wouldn't be the first time. Huh? You were abducted. Not, not for me. No, I only did it once. The chloroform. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, thing is, you did it to yourself. I was we're still trying to figure that out. I was having a friend move. Jason pushed my hand in my face. <laughs> well, don't start none. Won't be none. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the problem. I was helping a friend move this morning, and there was a cop nearby. And he goes, why do you have – I said, I got rope to tie the things, you know, to the back of the truck. He goes, why do you have rope in your car? I said, sometimes the kidnap, kidnap victims fight back, and the cop gave me this drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I had a friend of mine who was scared to ask questions about that when they opened up the toolbox I had in my pickup and found duct tape and zip ties, and I was like – there's a legitimate reason those are there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And the fact that you brought it up made him more suspicious. Uh, no, he had it open and he's just staring at it. And I'm like, okay, if you made this monumental discovery, you think your friend's a murderer? Standing there staring at the evidence is probably not the way you want to figure it out. <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm waiting. If I ever get arrested, the minute, he put, the, minute the cop puts the cops on me, I'm going to ask what the safe word is. I don't care if I get <laughs> oh, it's it's a great story. <laughs> Not the universal was uh, pineapple. There we go. That's my guy, Carl Meadows. Love oh, that man. guy. Oh, thank you, Carl. He's giving you, he's giving you credit like you were trying. At this <laughs> I did try. I did try on that book, damn it. With you them, earned it, Jen. You I gave up. I just you. plain gave up. Forget it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm done. Let this son bitch burn. <laughs> Wait, are we talking me? No. Yeah. The oh, train. Okay. The, the train. train, yeah. This train is battling down the tracks, and every car is on fire. I'll yeah. tell you what, Dan, and I want to give you pumps. Pump. Yeah, yeah, so pretty well give you pumps on that. <laughs> I'm you, working on another one that's going to be just as weird. You have nice. definitely nailed it. You definitely nailed it with that. That's the first time I've ever done something like that. That was good. Oh, awesome. It yeah. was really good. Still a film clip. And, it. It's like I told you, as far as I'm concerned, buddy, you got carte blanche. Yep. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Go for okay. It. I need some stills of uh, Jason and Jen. Uh oh. Uh, and then Jack is going to be the butt of that joke. Oh, <laughs> oh great. 
Wait a minute. Once again. Like the actual butt? Like the actual No, I, I, I can't be that because I don't, I don't have one of those. And instead of oh, rubbing what? his chin, he's going to be massaging his nuts. <laughs> I already am unsure of what this is going to be like when it's done. I was so, just making so, it up, but now I'm doing it. So would, would that make Jack a bald chinian? Like in <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Y'all don't know what's hidden under here. Y'all yeah. have no idea. Although I'm getting aroused right now. Oh, <laughs> I like this. I like this oh, one. What a oh, Lee Harvey. I, I need to stop this right now. Or you know. in Dallas. I know. I find Dallas. I find it amusing that the audience has showing more discipline. They're than continuing. Me. Yeah. 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 He, uh, even Tim gonna, has behaved. Yeah. yeah. Even had to like going back and forth. You know, when we won the revolution without the French. And meanwhile, we're talking about not sex. <laughs> right. No, it's the user's comment. It was um, I'm trying to think. It was a Hulu show with uh, James Franco. Eleven twenty two sixty three. Yeah. Yes, I love that. Yeah. that oh, show. After, yeah, it after was he was Kennedy turned into like basically a dictator, and then it was yeah. all dystopian and shit. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, was, it was a very good show. I, oh, yeah. I, I think yeah. we watched it on HBO Max a while back. I don't remember where it's at. But definitely look that show up. It was a very good show. Mm -hmm. Somebody yeah, somebody just... asked me if the CIA had killed Kennedy. I says, come on, it's the CIA. If we were involved, Jackie would be dead. The driver, Mayor Conley, is my <laughs> four bystanders. There'd be no witnesses. <laughs> yeah, JFK would be the only one that must survive. <laughs> yeah, injured but alive. <laughs> well, you know, there, there of course, is uh, Bubba Hotep. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Where Elvis and, and Jack Kennedy are fighting the mummy. Yeah. I fell I fell asleep during that. I could not watch it. Oh, oh my you God. couldn't watch a Bruce Are you Campbell kidding movie? me? I, don't I also you go I, I don't I barely remember <clears throat> the very beginning. I remember seeing Elvis at the yeah. very beginning and I passed out. Along with trying to watch Chud. I've sat there and tried to watch Chud. I don't you have know not seen Chud? Time. I have not Chud, seen how it all the way fall through. Asleep wearing Chud? That's that's ridiculous. Yeah. I that's... did. The whole movie was ridiculous. You guys, you watch a movie with this woman. It's like <sighs> the most picky human being ever. You'll be five minutes in where it's still doing setup, and she's like, "When's it gonna get good?" And then, <laughs> you know how he tried to watch Tank Girl, Jeff? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you didn't. You didn't get through that either. I got not even past the credits. I do okay. like Tank Girl. I got uh, All right, here's the way. Going forward, going forward, what we're going to have Jen start oh, doing man. is yeah. start start the movie at at least the 20 minute mark. Don't just, just <laughs> don't even bother. <laughs> just start at about 20 minutes yeah. and just go from there. Give yeah, her the example, There's too much to explain. Let me sum up and just get to the point where she might. <laughs> yeah. Simple. Princess Easy. Bride. Well, that and, and, and again, that number is totally contingent <laughs> yeah. upon when the action begins. So if you've seen the movie and you're having her watch it, just be there with her, you know, it's online not, or whatever. No, it's be just, like, go here. I, I just really think that a lot of these older movies just don't captivate me anymore because of the simple fact that I had to watch them when they came out. Oh. Because it's all, you know, it's all old. What it, yeah, ha ha. You can't Funny, say that please. about. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what if Jen finished Good job, Lee Edwards. Would that Jen like it? <laughs> I'm so trying. To get... I just can't watch them. I can't. I am really? trying so to find a horrible movie that was so bad it was funny that I watched. I thought I watched them all. <laughs> uh, it, you, at it's least on... you watch five minutes of. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Wait, nope. Wait. If Chud, if if Bud was anything like Chud, it ain't happening. <laughs> if you guys want to see a movie that is so funny and so bad, it's worth it. Go to Tubi; it's free. The Coed and the Zombie Stoner. Oh my God, that is horrible. What? <laughs> but it's funny. It's kind of funny. It what is about funny. strippers versus werewolves. Yeah. Oh no, I never saw that here. one. I saw, saw never strippers saw versus zombies. I feel like you guys are making shit up now. We could be, yeah, uh, possibly, because no, we could totally not. get away with it right now. I think, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be able to call bullshit because I don't even know what half of these things are. Oh, well, what Here's about uh, 
Cue the Winged Serpent. Have you ever seen that? Oh, oh, yeah. oh yes. Larry go. Cohen. Yeah. That actually cracks me up because I watched it as a kid and we were like, oh my God, cue. But the very beginning, um, where the window washer gets his head bit off by Q and they yeah, bring him yeah. down and everything. Next time you watch it, if you watch it the next time, check it out because when they carry him away, there's an ambulance that comes up with full lights and sirens on and they put him on a gurney and take him to the hospital. <laughs> like the dude doesn't have a head. <laughs> we can save him. Yeah, yeah, there's no saving this guy. I mean, there's yeah, a lot of people wow. around who are basically uh, the same oh, thing right now. It, it, well, that could be explained yeah. simply as they're going, hey, we found a body for Walt Disney. Yeah. Well, actually, you, you know what? It, fast. There you go. Right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go film weirdo on you. More than likely, that little oversight. Um, he did not have a permit to shoot anywhere in New York City, and he oh. shot that entire movie by sneaking the crew wherever they had to go, mm -hmm. set up, run the shot, sit, get down, and leave before the cops would show up. He was notorious oh. for this kind of stuff. Larry, yeah, Cohen would just sneaky. Didn't want to pay all that money. He's like, here's how we're going to do it. When a guy gets his head bit off, we have to be at the top of this tower. Everybody go up in separate ways. And then he'd meet up and do it. <coughs> Great wow. stuff. That's funny. Tim, Tim, trivia fact. Sheena's She-Wolf of the SS was filmed at night on the same set where they were filming Hogan's Heroes. If you look at the camp in the two movies, they're identical. Oh, Wow. <laughs> Wow. That that's a twisted movie. Yes, it's just a very twisted movie. They they been, all sound twisted. I've been trying to find all the other Sheena movies to watch just to see how bad they are, but yeah, none of them get any better. But they all have one thing in common, and if Ricky was here, he'd be going <laughs> booby. <laughs> oh, you're pretty good at that, Jed. Thanks. I think oh, he goes be. higher than me, but yeah, I don't, which is even funnier. If you after, know, the, after the last show, she was still laughing about it for like another <laughs> two hours. A lot of TNA. I, you you want to watch uh, the co-ed and the zombie stoner? It's horrible. I kind of uh, get a kick off of the stoner, stoner. horror. Yeah. No, like, what uh, it is, is is it's all of these stoners that turn into zombies. Yeah. You know, and they're like more interested in eating snacks and Cheetos than human. Right. That's kind they're of like a documentary, to... really. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that that character is one of the ones I in any movie or any book for that matter that I read or listen to that I feel the most sympathy for when they get killed off for whatever reason. I feel so bad for the stoner. Like yeah. man, they're just trying to hang out, they ain't trying to bother nobody, they ain't having sex in the woods, they're just like, I'm high and I'm chilling, and then they're dead. Oh, I yeah. I pissed off one woman. I was at a convention and we were having a talk, and she said that you know horror movies are evil. You know they are not biblical whatsoever. And I told her, I says what? horror movies are nothing compared to the Bible. I oh, mean, no Jonah's, shit. Jonah's eaten by a whale. Yeah. You know, I was at um, zombie the Jesus. One of, the one that was you <laughs> oh, know, Lazarus you. And that brought that back to true? life. Who was the one that was told by God to kill his kids? And I said, when you look at any Jason movie, it's a morality tale. The stoners, the alcoholics, the kids doing illegal things, the kids fooling around all get killed. Mm -hmm. The only ones that survive are the two virgins. Jason yeah. is Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's hysterical. Really <laughs> wow. I think Jack passed out on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have, I'm, I'm trying to decide whether to blow the whistle or just throw it at the screen. <laughs> just throw it. Throw it. <laughs> I, I, I want to say one thing. Zombie Jesus. Um, if you guys go on a YouTube and type in um, Fist fist of Jesus, oh, you're going to see one of If you said Fisting of Jesus, I thought it was going. I don't think that's YouTube. Yeah, no, it is YouTube. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not talking yeah. fist of Jesus. Uh, <laughs> no, See, I don't do that. I, I don't know how it goes. Jack, you want to show us? There's a movie. It's either, uh, turn around, Jack. It's either Jesus Christ zombie hunter or Jesus Christ vampire hunter. It's funny. It's horrible. But the scene in the the opening scene when Jesus is fighting all of the monsters in a park, 
they filmed it in a park and don't watch the fight scene watch Dude, in the background the people dozens, dozens of people just staring like what the hell is going yeah, what on are they doing? <laughs> we're all going to hell today no i brought up fist of jesus because when jesus figures out that he he wants to go and bring back lazarus he figured it out yeah he figured it out (laughs) no he totally fucked it up lazarus went zombie and started killing people and so after they finally kill him jesus goes let me try again and uh judas gets killed like five times and jesus kept bringing him back he's like dude what the fuck (laughs) Check this thing out, Fist of Jesus on YouTube. It's hilarious. I think right, I'd so like the other one better. Think about the, let me let's be serious for a minute. Think about the whole story. I mean, Jesus is going to grant all his followers immoral um immortality. Immorality. Zombie Jesus. He's just going to raise all the dead and, you know, bring them mm-hmm. back to life. Mm, it's a little frightening. You mentioned hunting I mean, vampires. I'm like that. trying to make an attempt to get us back. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Jack, you fucked up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a great book. It was an even worse movie, but it was still entertaining as hell. It was the Abe Lincoln Vampire Hunter. <laughs> Oh, well, that's what I was going to bring up. I actually I read that was, book and I loved it. The book was good. The movie yeah. sucked. The movie, the movie really went okay, down. But pretty I read great. it like very half heartedly. I just got a kick out of like, well, them taking all the silver to support the war. I was like, you know what? That feels like a better explanation. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is where those uh, M60s could have come into to use that they've talked about earlier in the Civil War. <laughs> yeah. That was another movie I didn't get past five minutes. You got okay, you're gonna sit down, we're gonna watch it with Max hey, and Dewey. Scott, Scott's open for deposit. Actually, again. I love the book. I thought the movie was entered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God is pissed at me for what I said about chasing his Jesus. <laughs> Oh, all of a sudden, I burst in the flames. <laughs> well, I, I know God's pissed at at least two of us other ones, and one I think <laughs> we're all into the same shit. <laughs> oh, God, I hope not. Yes. No. I, think it was, I can't remember if I saw Roosevelt FDR, Werewolf. Vampire Hunter, zomb- I think it was Zombie Hunter. He's got like a Gatling guns on his uh, wheelchair. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, oh. FDR? Mm. Speaking <laughs> of FDR, Frank well, that, yeah. he's like yeah. zombie hunter. Well, when he says there's a werewolf hunter, I went to Teddy because he seems like he would do it. Rough <laughs> <laughs> Rider, he hunted everything. Fuck. True. <laughs> He'd mount that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> See? See? Uh, in more ways than one. <laughs> was, there, I wasn't going to was, be the one that says it. There was a oh. series of books, I forget who wrote it, called clockwork century hmm. and it was it was kind of a, a steampunk alternative history zombie story set actually like 10 years after what we know of as the end of the civil war but in the book it's still going on hmm. <laughs> that was that was Shree priest we're and it's 18, you, 18. Yes. <laughs> I just looked that up, Sherry Priest. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It, yes. It's sort of steampunk. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, was, that was actually perfect. pretty good. Well, Landa, if you ever come on the show, just be sure you're prepared to do Make, some day yeah. drinking because you're going to need have a drink. bottle, a whole bottle, Landa, a big bottle. It's, Landa, it's nighttime somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, as long well, as it's... not here, we use him as the excuse. <laughs> it only has to be <laughs> noon. So... Exactly. It really only has to be noon, or just stay up all night the night before. Yeah. And then it's never. I'm, like, I'm doing this show sober and watching y'all. And okay. Jazz, Jason, you are here. definitely <laughs> disappointing right now. <laughs> You're usually way better. Than that. <laughs> Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he cut out on what? my end. My TV sucked. <laughs> Jen is the one that's leading us down, <laughs> down to the depths of hell. No, that's Jack. You want to do that to Jack? <laughs> I mean, what? I'm just sitting over here minding my own business right now. I'm more of a to whom it may concern. <laughs> I get it. 
Hey, Landa, Landa, if if you want to join Tim mm. as a comment ninja, Whoa. be my guest. You would be welcome. Oh, she would be a sexy ninja. Oh boy! Uh, not, not that, not that Happy Tim is. Not that, no, not I'm not offended. Tim. It's okay. Um, <laughs> Tim's not uh, offended. Amy's I, not offended. It's easy. A pumpkin coffee habanero. That's, beer. that's offensive, though. That is offensive. <laughs> Who the hell said <laughs> that? Did you hate pumpkin beer? Now, Lee. Who makes <laughs> that? The pumpkin coffee habanero. Is it a stout? Well, there's yes. Some please spicy follow up comment. What is it? <laughs> right. Tell me, I'm humanity, intrigued. Obviously. Okay, I'm assuming it's delicious. not really for pumpkin. It doesn't come out for another nine days um, at Starbucks. Okay. I, I beg to differ. I work in the beer industry. That shit came out last month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Starbucks yeah, they, yeah. doesn't start for nine days. Uh, yeah, the 28th. No well, there's a uh, there's one Actually, company Monday's called 29th. There's one company that has a brand out that's uh, like mild spicy and spicy spicy or whatever, and they're called um, Kickstand. And you can hmm. find them, I guess, I don't know if it's everywhere or whatever, but yeah, it's called Kickstand. If you look that, that up, good. Google that, that's how they say it's really tasty. And I guess Lee's drinking. That may be what Lee's drinking. I don't know. You drinking Kickstand, Lee? I need to know the name. <laughs> Agreed, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. See that'll that'll be a good uh, a good no, live spot back. we could do Look, right there. Sweet, there is you guys really trying your hot, beer. hot wings to have you know hot lava coming out of your asshole. So hey, <laughs> now, if I want a special beer, I'll buy Korean beer. They got some good beer. Australia, North or South? Australia. Oh, yeah. oh, Australia. Right. Hey, you guys I think the North Koreans list. have beer. The rest. Mm. What? You guys were adding to my reading list. Now you got to add to another list. Start you know sending me that shit. Oh, oh is it getting long? Yeah. We're going to make you a reading drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you. RJ Brewing. Wrong. I'm going to write that down. I, I mean, yeah, I'm going to drool on so many writing, books. But, you know, I'm channeling that part of Hemingway. Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Amy, other than... Too bad you're not channeling the rest. <laughs> what the... Like, RJ Brewing. Chubinous thing and beating Thank women. You. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. So, so, Amy, other than finding drink possibilities, what do you think of all this? I, I don't know. <laughs> that, that, that's the biggest compliment we've gotten. Today. That was very wise. <laughs> it's it's a good thing the the walls are padded because we're all over the place. But yeah, when you um, find a whole room of people with ADD, shit gets weird. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I like it. I like yeah. it. I'm I'm here for this. Really? So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, awesome. I don't think we've ever on the the few shows I've been on, we've never stayed on topic. Never. Not for more than fifteen minutes. Tops. And that's what makes this show fun. So. Yeah. <laughs> hey Dan, Dan, have you ever seen the movie Bond of the Dead? Bond of the Dead. Oh, Bond, Bond. Bond. Bond of the Dead. Oh, B-O-N-G. Bond of the Dead. Bond. Yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah. That, was, I, that I doesn't actually sound right. I actually, yeah, right up there with zombie ass, I'll tell you. <laughs> it was weird and funny. Wait, wait. What was that one? Zombie ass. Zombie you ass. It. You don't know zombie about ass. that? Zombie so ass. Back on that. Toilet of it's, the Dead. Toilet of the Dead. It's, uh, it's Asian, and it goes from shit oh, no. zombies to sci-fi. You hear that? Um, shit zombies. Shit zombies. I'm looking at oh, it. Are you oh, looking it up? Actually, Look at the images. Was... Yeah. No, I want to like see that movie. <laughs> a, a discussion of that movie probably would have fit better in our last episode, which of course was concerned with anal leakage. But <laughs> very much so. I forgot. Yes, all it about was. That. Multiple... Yeah, Amy, you'll have to watch that episode. <clears throat> yeah, yep, y'all block lot. that out. Who I, brought I, that up? I barely remember that. I think it was Jason talking about his own issues. I think so too. I will totally bl- blame him. Right Zombie ass toilet of the dead on Amazon Prime. Oh, it's on Prime right now. Oh, on, well, you gotta oh, rent it, but still, it's on Amazon Prime. So Scott, go is- go to the images, and yeah. you're gonna see one um, with this girl like bent over and this cloud. Look at the cloud; it's got like a devil face in it. And then read what it says underneath. This is it's a, that's the actual line from the movie. That's a subtitle. We are going to flush you. No, um, you see a girl and she's got a big yellow cloud coming 
out yeah. from behind her. Yeah. Okay, does this? Do you see a subtitle on it? No, that's all I see is uh, zombies of the dead. A zombie asked how Lord of the dead. The director who brought you the machine girl. Oh, well, that explains there a lot. You I go. <laughs> right here. And the the tagline is "We are going to flush you." Yeah. Well, there's this picture of the the one girl that eats the worm and starts all this zombie stuff going on, um, and she's getting cramps. And this big yellow cloud comes out from you know behind. Uh -huh. And there's this uh -huh. devil face rolling in it. And then her 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 uh, dialogue is, "Why am I making such a continuous fart?" <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're in for for zombie oh, acid. Oh <laughs> boy! If it's and since it's Japanese, on Prime, I'm gonna watch it too. If it's Japanese, I'll watch it. They make the weirdest shit. Oh, I got a list for you, yeah, Scott. Dead sushi is one of them. Yeah, there's yeah, one of them. episodes of this show, we keep getting back to zombie ass <laughs> because I, every, I like it. For the last so, three, four weeks, the last yes. three or four shows, we have done that. So we like zombie ass, and we cannot lie. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Thank you. I was hoping for that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I I'm just trying to, to put them into the Queen song, you know, the Queen song, Zombie Ass Girls. Seven of Big Ass Girls. <laughs> hey, Jack. You no, know, Jen, I'll send you that poster. Here. It looked good on your <laughs> wall from away from home. Yeah, no. He's trying to stick that in your house, Amy. For my house? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she sent pictures of the and, wall she was painting, and then I miniaturized and, and, and put your, zombie ass that. poster. I saw that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that what you were happen. worrying about. Okay. <laughs> no, but now that I you know, know she won't watch more in the first five minutes, like, don't no. bother. Yeah. You know, it, going off what Lee just said there, uh, <laughs> I might actually send all y'all a picture of my beard. Why not? Yeah, it's please. a pretty beard. If you see it up close and personal, oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Not is this happening. like is this like in the way in, in waiting oh, that's like, they talk about bat wings and stuff? Oh. I don't I don't want that. Oh, that's <laughs> how I do weather forecast sometimes. Dude, just be sure you don't speak too loud. Don't scare the parakeet. <laughs> hey hey Jack, um aren't you supposed to be the one who's keeping this thing on the rails? It's finally that's broken. Don't, don't 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 up He's too busy yeah, playing like, with beard butter. We finally broke him. He's done. Now, like, like I said, I'm, I gave up. Forget it. I've got the hat. I can put it on, and y'all just blow right through the fucking stop sign anyway. So it's like, <laughs> screw it. I feel like we're using his conductor hat as a fire pit to cook dinner. Like, I mean, it's all <laughs> Basically, it, it's a subject changer for me. <laughs> totally lined the thing with foil. Got the little charcoals in it, cooking away. And I'm just over <laughs> on the side, just sitting there, just kicking rocks. Oh, fuck you, Jack. No. <laughs> <laughs> what you get. And I and just think I've got barbecue from the best barbecue joint in Tennessee sitting in there waiting oh. on me for when this show's over. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds good. That does sound good. Now I'm hungry. Oh, and it's moist. <laughs> oh, don't start. <laughs> now I'm like, <laughs> Here we go. That's a terrible I spent enough time this summer, and anybody who's been in Ohio can back me up. I spent enough time being moist. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> It was gross when I was there. It's yeah, really I know gross. Gross. And then you You're bitched about oh, it being cold in the house. Oh, <laughs> yes. I need a blanket. <laughs> oh, God. When the humidity gets bad enough down south, you could literally swipe a sheet of freaking sandpaper through my ass crack and not chafe What anything. a segue. <laughs> Just slide right through. Now, anybody got a zombie swamp ass show? <laughs> Uh, yeah, The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a damn good answer, actually. That's a damn good answer. Yeah. yeah. It is. Regardless of what you might think of the show itself, it's like, you know what? They look pretty fucking awful, that entire couple of they seasons. Are they are all <laughs> sweaty, and I'm just sitting there thinking, that must really stink. And they see, what gets me? All really stink. It's one of those examples of where, uh, where oh, okay, somebody got a text message, and that's... Well, it's, you know what? I'm sorry, guys. One. These guys, my roommates are arguing over a fucking dog, and I can't get the damn uh, phone to shut <laughs> off. <laughs> oh. I didn't say long. What are you laughing about? You know <laughs> no, back to the whole swamp ass and the Walking Dead thing. I still find it funny as many women had a, uh, you know, what, Hollywood crush on Norman Reedus. It's like you realize he's playing a character who hasn't showered in three years, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't think about him like that, so no, never got yeah, it. I don't shower for three weeks and my wife gets pissed. Go figure. 
All right, I'm done. I quit. Fine. Okay. I will just <laughs> right. oh, come on. You're no, supposed we're to only get to that line. Uh, All right, we've covered sandpaper ass. What's next on the list of vulgarities? <laughs> Should we uh, go yeast a infection? Anybody? Wait a we have a list. <laughs> do, we, oh, yeah. do, we, do we have anything about the uh, right, the I'm nasty right. little? Lady well, I was going to say. Um, let, let's discuss the, the the hilarious world of chlamydia. Then. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, now I want to piggyback back onto the uh, yeast infection. I've often wondered what would that bread taste like. <laughs> oh, really? You did not oh. go there. <laughs> well, come on. You need Look. yeast to make bread. It's a it's yeah. readily available. It's, it's really, really not the same thing. I, just, I knew you were fucked up, but wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. No, yes, sure. is right, but let's let's admit one of us in this group is thinking. I might try that someday just to see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I promise it's not me. Eating bad food. That, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I love Lee. I've heard that when you toast it and put butter on it, it's like having breakfast by the sea. Oh my God, she knows the really? answer. Really? Oh, God, you went there. <laughs> I don't know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Amy is just as that down. That's great. Jeff, Amy, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all this is, that's why they yeah. call this the padded room. Yeah. Amy is just, she may look yeah. composed, but she is just as messed up as the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, without, it's a, better. without a doubt. Without well, a doubt. Yeah, but it takes a special kind of someone to wax poetic about a yeast infection. <laughs> you were this waxing, you might not have the yeast. <laughs> I didn't think that's what I was doing, but... Uh, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> sorry about that, James. Uh, I'm never not for a month. He'll never look at butter the same again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn, now that you've said that, I nope. won't either. You're welcome. Okay. No, we, this, I'm actually craving toast. Right yeah, that just. That I know. Just put me, that just put me right off dairy completely. <laughs> okay, so the next show I got to drink milk in time. front of everyone. Oh, I love me some milk now. Oh my god, you might, you don't might turn me on. <laughs> Shit grosses me out. Don't don't drink milk. I was wondering who some of you were. Welcome, specially. <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> I love that the guy. Blood. He's the one who said the blonde girl. And I'm like, well, Amy. <laughs> oh, we got her names back like, up. He's like, hey, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, there's names. <laughs> to screw with this. To screw with yeah, that Next was, time we like, come on, we got to change our names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you notice Amy and Scott don't give their last names. So <laughs> I only did because you guys threw a big fit about me not doing it. It's just mystery well, Jason. Like, all right, fine. Obviously, they don't need to say their last names. It's just the rest of us. They're like Madonna. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, yeah, because yeah, there's like only one, and there's only one Jason that gets to run around with just the one name, and we all yeah. know that hockey mask bad motherfucker. Yes. <laughs> Where do you think I got mine from? My parents were fucked up. <laughs> well, hey, at least you got that going for you. That's cool. Hey, yeah, they knew. They knew. Anyway, <laughs> just put that one back, and they're like, "No, we didn't call you Leatherface." <laughs> well, that was that one time. Oh. <laughs> Only once. So, can you so weird. Only once. Can you believe it? No. All right, yeah. yeast infections checked. What do we go to next? <laughs> <laughs> I got about um, five more down all, here. All From under that, cheese. We have a whole nother that, hour. From <laughs> From well, under hey, cheese. No, please, please. <laughs> it took us an hour. It took us a full hour, but we finally got to from under. <laughs> <laughs> from under my sexy smooth nuts. Yeah. <laughs> nope, we're back to the nut sack again. <laughs> all right, I'm getting this back. Alternate history. Circle. Alternate history. All right. Expeditions into the Arctic and Antarctic. One of the most famous of all time, of course, is the thing. Yes. Yes. What have one of our expeditions had run into that situation? What if the aliens did decide to drop something on our ass at that point? 
we never would have found out about it because the guys who work with Scott wouldn't let us. Right. <laughs> True enough. <laughs> Good point. Damn you, Scott. <clears throat> the thing was a movie made to distract us from the fact that the Nazis had set up a secret underground base in the uh, in the Antarctic, and that's what they did when Bird tried to go down to stop them. We were defeated by Nazi UFOs that were given to them by the aliens. Flown by lizards. Oh, yes. lizards. <laughs> now we're going back to the queen. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Lizard people. And, and they all Hitler's finally got Hitler's taken out by a cat. There. Hitler's oh my God. actually a, is one of the Middle Earth reptilians, and he rides a T-Rex named Blondie. <laughs> All right. Well, I was referring to like that, that comment, part of it. Apparently, I have my, my hand to thank for my name. So you named me after a movie murderer. Thank you so much. Would you expect anything else from your aunt? No. No. What the fuck movie is this? <laughs> <laughs> part of that movie I was talking about was Iron Sky Two. Yeah, okay, I am sorry right. too. But the, is, m most of that was just my warped imagination. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. With participation. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Family love. Yeah, you know, uh, you know how it is. <laughs> uh, what's What's another good alternate history? It doesn't have to be a movie, a TV show, or a book, but you know, something that you've ever encountered where you actually thought, man, would this have been different if this would have happened? If I had not run over that the, kid while drunk. My well, life? Stuff like that, <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, like stuff in your own life where if you'd have done one little thing, changed one little thing, something could have been different. How, how it could have... How many of us are divorced here? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh yeah. Let's start with that. Uh -huh. Damn, 10 times? <laughs> Well, let's hold not. On, hold on. It, 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 on that it, note, that was the first smart decision I ever made in my adult life, so don't you start. <laughs> no. Now, it, it should be noted that we have an audience member who can't feel his face. Yes. Wait, yes. What? That was... Um, How please. high are you? That was oh, shit. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm jealous right now. <laughs> I like that, Jason. That was good. Okay, so in the divorced alternate universe, is it? do you wish you never would have married them, or do you wish you never would have divorced them? Rhetorical or actual? One I say, it, it, it's, your, it's your story. Tell it. Y'all are all writers. Well, except on, on one here. hand, on one hand, I kind of I'm, I'm glad I went through the divorce because I learned a lot. I learned a lot. If I didn't, you never would have met me. <laughs> why? What, what, why? She, I didn't. I'm, my ass out. Oh, okay. Your wife or Rachel? whoever came to mind? Literally any female in my life. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he had that Blake look. He's like all of them. <laughs> uh, right. Why? Why do I have to explain? I'm a self-aware man. I know I can be toxic. So let's face it. Yeah, I had it coming. <laughs> well, it's always your fault. Yeah, that's there. Yeah. You're but, naturally handicapped, yes. Gee, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just stating what every man knows. It's yeah. always our fault. <laughs> now, my first marriage was just we grew apart. I'm glad we were married, but and I, you know, I also finally glad. had to go through the doors. <laughs> but I always said, if I'm going to get divorced again, I'm not going to do a divorce. I'm going to put a huge life insurance policy on myself, take my car and my laptop, drive it into a lake and disappear, and then let her deal with the police. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are you going to collect on your life policy? How are you going to get that life insurance? Well, I'll buy it before. No, I don't care about the life insurance. Oh, okay. So I just I'm sorry. I was thinking the money, you know. Gee, you know, you <laughs> got, she, yeah. got a life insurance policy. Guys, hang different. on, hang on. Before we get too far, Jeff, can you edit this and remove that whole thing? Because it's going to fuck up his plan later. <laughs> yeah, true enough. Good point. Although it is live. Oh, Hi, D. Oh, it's D. DJ Cooper. Hi, DJ. Hello. Hey. Yes, Man. we have too much fun. We don't Absolutely. talk about alternate history or whatever the topic is, but we have fun. Is that what exactly. the topic is? <laughs> yeah. How well, much have you had? Zero. Oh, wow. God. Of what? Nothing. Of absolutely nothing. Okay. <laughs> Sleep. No. 
<laughs> yeah, Probably. it's lack of sleep. I'm laughing, I'm laughing at Tim's comment. Yeah, I know. I saw that too. <laughs> <laughs> the wife's not in the room there, huh? <laughs> uh, Tim, you are my spirit animal. Uh, <laughs> oh, it looks God like the damn. FBI oh. will be investigating me this week. No, not you. <laughs> Lee has an excellent point, however. What if they would have caught D.B. Cooper? I just watched that whole series. All right. Did anybody else? I watched yeah. part of it, but it just it was kind of boring. Yeah. yeah. It was. So did, okay, not to get for, weird and mainstreamy. Did anybody you're see always the, weird. Yeah, well, duh. <laughs> if I wasn't, again, it wouldn't deliver right. Did any of you guys <laughs> see the Loki TV series? I no. loved it. Okay. Their version, yep. Loki was D.B. Cooper, and it was all a big practical joke from the people in Asgard. <laughs> oh. Yes. That's yeah, odd. They couldn't, they couldn't That's find him because when he jumped out of the plane, he took the Bifrost back. <laughs> that whole thing made me just lose it. I was like, you know what? That's more okay. believable than the other shit I've seen. That's funny. <laughs> That's I funny. can't. I refuse to watch those things because I'm sorry. Disney is milking that franchise to death. Yeah, They're well. ruining it. Now, if Disney has the balls, because they own the rights to the Alien movies, if they put the Alien Queen in the Princess lineup with, you know, Snow White and that, then I will respect <laughs> Disney. But. That would make for a fun movie, especially if you would, I mean, throw in all the big-name characters. Hell, Aladdin with a... <laughs> Jafar coming in thinking he can team up with them and then Look, he gets I don't care what anybody right says. Head. Hades is a Disney princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm confused why you even know that. I don't even know what movie that's from. You've known me this long. Really? A Disney movie? Really? Yeah, I had kids. Hey, I, I love kids. Disney movies. <laughs> yeah. Ah. No, I, when you watch, I, when you watch the I movies, whenever I hear the, the, any song from Frozen because my niece watched that movie ad nauseum. Oh, yeah, no, I couldn't see. I was lucky. I didn't have kids, so I never had to do it that way. I just no, like I'm Disney pretty, movies. And so I, I got to watch sure that them. movie put me in therapy. I, I, you had kids? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he kept them in the basement in cages, but yeah, he definitely <laughs> Oh. Oh, thanks, oh. DJ. <laughs> now that's going to be stuck in my head all night. <laughs> what was that? What, Jack? I said, what was what? that? I froze DJ up there for, and I just froze up. Well, not know. all night. You oh. Go watch the Land and beyond. Our land unknown. Oh. We're, we're hearing like every other word from you, Doc. Yeah. It was so yeah. cool. <laughs> By the way, where's Michonne, how Scott? Much, how much have I smoked? I'm like, what's wrong? It <laughs> almost sounded like a, a rap album. Everybody's gotten quiet. I just have to tell you, when everybody goes quiet, I get a little nervous. <laughs> I feel like I've missed something or a joke, you know, pointed at me, and everybody's just waiting for my response. Like, you know. no, I'm, I'm laughing at that. I had a good friend of mine back in the good old days when you, there were no DVDs; it was all videos. <laughs> And she worked at Best Buy, and somebody well, brought well, back a Disney movie. It's because it's three o'clock here. Yeah. If somebody had brought back a Disney movie, and they were busy, so she pulled it out, popped it into the VCR, and then she noticed that all of these people were surrounding the on-the-wall displays. Somebody had mixed up the Disney movie with a porno video. Oh. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, there were these two couples going at it, yes. and you know, all the guys are watching, and all the mothers oh. are trying to cover the <laughs> Man, that's terrible. And everybody's going, which princess is that? Because <laughs> I like oh, her. That's what Snow White the the anal princess. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Check out the animal box. Yep, yep. Get that one. <laughs> now, was, was there any Cle Cleveland steamers involved in this video? Oh. Oh. 
Again, why he should not be wearing the conductor hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've retired that thing. It's it, that's some bitches over there now. I'm, I'm, although it's funny, yeah, it's laying on its side, just like this train is. So yeah, it's all good. <laughs> on and its yet, side, defeated. This, and it, it's still running <laughs> that, though. That's what's freaking sorry, me out. I just read the last comment. <laughs> oh. Rachel, <laughs> I couldn't be prouder of my family line. I, really <laughs> I don't think we ever removed ourselves from the gutter, DJ. No. No. I think we were born there. No, like this train on it, and we're just like, all right, everybody, side to side, real quick. Come on. <laughs> Get it flipped back up. <laughs> we the scary sometimes. part is the damn thing is still running down the tracks. We're just using the uh, imagine the train's flipped over to its left hand side and the wheels are <laughs> making contact and we're just kind of coasting. Um, well, Facebook user, I'm proud of you. Uh, <laughs> that's Lee. That's is that's no, that Lee. Yeah. That's beautiful. I would have sat there and laughed too. Like, all right, you know what? This kind of seems like it's not my problem anyway. Uh, <laughs> How I'm many back. refrigerators did it buy or sell? Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? I'm back. Stupid thing. You know, just have time it go on that it, shit fixed. Just have it go on when somebody yeah. pulls out a cucumber. <laughs> Always. <laughs> okay, who said that? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's always Lee. Man, freaking. Son of a and I'm sober. Can you imagine how bad I'd be if I was? I dead? know. So am I. <laughs> Me too. Damn and it. I know how bad I'd get. Well, now I'm self conscious. Thanks, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't, you know, we ought to do a padded room where we're all drinking one night. We've done that. Like we always 13 episodes. I was going to say, I thought we did that. I really thought you guys were always drinking or inebriated in some way, which is why no, I normally out right out the nope. gate with scotch. Yeah. yeah normally I do. But not today. This, this my my other quote. This really is water. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> the rest of those shows, I'm like, this ain't really water, guys. <laughs> I have to pick my daughter up from work tonight. When I get home, that's when I break out the uh, the whiskey. Oh yeah, what happened? Admit, 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 admittedly, yeah. I didn't take my first sip until about five six minutes into the show because well I had to make a food run so obviously I couldn't be drinking beforehand. Which <laughs> means I did the written undead totally sober. With, me and shit. Jason Frozen me in. and Jason did a, a a drinking game to another podcast. I was like can you not? <laughs> Oh, I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I, have never a, I have never played a drinking game with you where my liver was angry at me the next day. That's that why day. I was so wasted. It was such a terrible idea. <laughs> it was funny because while one of the cast was just going on, these two were just busting up. <laughs> I'm trying to listen to what the guy's saying, and I'm just watching these two. <laughs> In the same well, I, screen, no less. So Jen's head would be like popping in, out, in. <laughs> it's not horrible because usually when it's the two of us, I should never be the voice of reason. <laughs> and he <laughs> was. covering my mouth like, get your shit together, woman. We got stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> it's hysterical. Then Jen's always got that little drunk. Hey, hey, hey! You're thumping him on the on his arm. Yeah, hey, Mary. Like, like Jason's doing something wrong. She's like, hey, hey. No, it's because she had some random thought, totally unconnected. But it really was. We were fucking mad. Which means it was so bad she wanted you to say it. Yeah. <laughs> See, I can't. I can't be heard saying anyway, this. So when you tell me something, it's like. Uh, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Especially now that I know that my children watch. <laughs> They're all adults, but still. <laughs> my kids are adults, and I hope to God they don't watch. <laughs> all right. Semi acting as a half ass conductor. That last question was a pretty good one. What if Caesar hadn't been killed? Yeah. Oh, Where was that, 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 that question? Because Rome would have run. Oh, right there, right there. Which Caesar? Weren't there like uh, several? Julius. Yeah. Julius. Julius. Yeah, well, the one they talk about getting assassinated. Oh, we never went to salad. Son of a bitch. I'm well, just I saying, I don't even know if that could happen. Hmm? Sorry, Scott, go ahead. I always thought the question the only reason we went to war with Nazi Germany was 
they declared war on us. We went to we declared war on the Japanese. We weren't even thinking of declaring war on the Nazis. Right. FDR wanted to. What would have happened? Oh if, my lord. What would, have happened, <laughs> well, what would have happened if Hitler never declared war on us? We would have put all our resources in the Pacific and we would have had to rely on the Soviet Union to take out Hitler. Mm-hmm. Hmm. But then he would have had his talent to us, so yeah. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, Everybody? My, my commentary on Julius Caesar was the simple fact that, like, how bad a guy do you got to be for your, for your friends to be like, yeah, he's got to go. <laughs> I love it. You know, now he makes for a great pencil holder today. <laughs> yeah, yep, right in the back. Yep. <laughs> uh, now I got a thing to make later. <laughs> I don't know if you guys I'm sure everybody at least once has had to read this 1984 oh yeah yeah, yes. I, that was, yeah we've already I, passed that it, it's definitely one of those supposed to be ulterior you know alternate mm. universe and it ended up happening or going that route right so I mean yeah. is it really alternate universe or is it just Not a, now. a biography of, yeah. of the United States? <laughs> Some people are using it as a training guide. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. <laughs> I only saw the movie and I only remember John Belushi drunk driving a plane. <laughs> That's pretty much what I remember. That wasn't a movie. That was a home video. You were off. I, you were off. <laughs> <home video. laughs> I was going to say, hold on. From what I understand, you're not supposed to drive it sober. <laughs> Yo, know, I don't know. I've never, you know, driven a plane. Oh, I, you know what? I wanted to know what that last comment said because I don't yeah, know what yeah. a Mexican fat mur is. Uh, it's a farmer. <laughs> farmer. Yeah. Farmer. Okay. L Lino and, good yes. El fat mur yeah. better. Yes, Lino we... good El Typo. I'm gonna write that down. Especially when he's El Drunko. Lee, yes, idiocracy is turning into real life. That movie. Yes, it is. I hated that movie because I'm like, this is so dumb. But then and I'm yet, like watching how things happen and yeah. i'm like oh my god it's so it's spot dead on. on it's dead <laughs> on right look that movie was just based on like somebody's re or like you know what is it interactions with people around i can't feel my fingers. realizing what if this was worse and yeah it is <laughs> sometimes you oh, might be having a stroke, Lee. Um, that's what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah. At this point, nine one one. He can't feel the numbers. How is he um, going to? With his off. toes. Use your fucking yeah. toes, Lee. Lee, Do use you your freaking toes right no. now. Probably can't feel those either. If you smell toast, please call an ambulance. Hey, worst case scenario. <laughs> worst or case get scenario. some butter and sit by the ocean. Yes, and have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> While drinking a glass of yeah. milk. Jen, I see why you hang out with her. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, that, yeah. It's good. Uh, no thoughts. I'm done. Oh, I have no, no thoughts. <laughs> we no, I should be here. Why y'all won't do Lee like that? I take no respon I take no paper. responsibility for any of the actions taking place here today on this program. Weren't you the one that yeah, said yes. the script? <laughs> yes. I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> yeah. He graduated from, I, I know the high school he graduated from. So <laughs> from the same town. He's from Toledo. If we ever get in from trouble, we just too. say we were on the mind yes. control by yes. the CIA. Yeah, you and I aren't far from each other. Not, well, he's not, not, from, not from Perrysburg. Oh, okay. It's from Toledo. Why can't no. we talk about butter? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, apparently, yes, you don't want to talk about butter. I feel the, like the I yeast, something. The yeast infection talk that we had, I brought oh, up. bring it back up, Jen. Oh, Go ahead, yeah. bring it back up. Bring I it mean, back up. I got to make sure we're on point. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, that's supposed to be mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think I should have been drinking on this show. <laughs> I'm, I'm still cold sober, and I get what he's saying. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> I'm about ready to spark up one of these damn things. Damn. I, I what is that? Hell yeah. 
she does. When she's sober, she's joy. laughing and giddy a little bit. When she's drunk, she's not even there. It's just face down laughing the entire time. There she went. <clears throat> See? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> so are you getting your <laughs> groin, groin <laughs> feed a girl with the yeast infection? Okay. Thank you, Lee. Thank you once again. Wow. I, I mean, I guess it would cover the food groups. I, I no, I think we all just got out and done. We have been out bested. Yeah. <laughs> we need yeah. to put this person on our on our Lee, Lee list. Won. Hey, Lee nice. Lee, Lee, he he is a podcaster now. He can't deny that. He does one with me every week. Talking. Oh, about we should go fuck the up adaptive this show. world. Adaptive, <laughs> adaptive world on is it Saturday or Sunday? Uh, we're doing it Sunday morning, tomorrow morning, in fact. There you it'll go. Be, yeah. uh, it'll be. What was um, it called? Adaptive, Adaptive world. world. Yeah, I think I sent you an invite to come join that. <clears throat> oh, you know what? I think I clicked on that one too. Yep. I'm just yeah. if you're already in, I you're think... in. We're coming Good. for you. We're coming well, for and, you, Lee. And, I, and the uh, that show will air on my page, Written Undead Podcast, and more, and uh, Adaptive World. So it'll be in three different places. And then, of course. Everybody share the crap out of it. Get it out there. Because, man, it's a good cause. It really is what, you know, what Lee and all those guys do for trying to help out disabled people get out there and go on hunts, go fishing, get out and do stuff. Man, it's amazing. Well, that's awesome. All about helping people with disability. Yeah. And, and, um, and we won't be talking about, odds are, we probably won't be talking about female vagina problems. No, no bring it up. Don't ever on that unless, show. Now wait unless, a minute. We could talk about duck butter, however. Duck butter? Oh, God, I oh, don't I, even want to know. Duck you know, that, Let's hear about this. It wait, wait, wait. No, no. It's actually it's not spelled D U C K. It's spelled D U C T. Ducked butter. I've never heard that. Oh, well, you, you got to think anyway. about. I've never heard it's about it. Basically, air it's duck, basically from Munda. It's oh, basically okay. from money. That's the first word she said fucked up. Let's be honest. Runes. You leave me alone, dick face. <laughs> dick face. Woo. It's hey, either, it's either, I either call him feet. dick face or dick hole. It's one of hey, the two. As big as his head is, he would be a very large penis. That's all I can say. <laughs> he said I do. That's what he said. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> I've worked in radio for 25 years. I can handle this. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and, 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 and for the record, I went ahead and pre loosened the wheel we just lost because uh, I already knew it was going. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have Before any I even left said at that. this point? I, I didn't uh, think we one, had any left I, after the hour. One, yes, oh, yeah. it's it's sparking and doing this. It's the very tail of the train. It's just we're back there right. hanging on. The cotter pin really quick and yank that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I think just the be like, you don't explode. Deserve Oh. oh, and for the record, we did get righted back up for the most part because, well, the British government well, released the real reason. Uh, whoops. Diana divorced Diana. Prince Charles. Diana. Yeah, yeah he, that misspelling. Diana Sorry, is trying. Man. He's trying. Shit, and I froze. That's all right. <laughs> no, I always tell people we killed her. The CIA killed her because she was against mines, and mines were the only landmines, and landmines were the only things keeping the North Koreans from invading. <laughs> So we invented the frozen alcohol bullet. In, shot him into the driver's neck. He crashed. Looked like he was alcoholic. We got away with it. Uh -huh. That's funny. I'm dead, I'll be back. No, it's, it's funny because anybody who has an alcohol, a frozen alcohol bullet, is never going to get time to shoot because they're eating the fucking bullets all day. <laughs> Only if drunk. it's behind the barrel. Whoa! Oh my goodness! We lost two of them. Yeah, it, yeah, it looks Rose like game. it. Oh wow! Well, they no, That's all right. He's still there. He's still there, kind of. But you know, it's bad enough. We keep using the train as a metaphor when the conductor or one of the other passengers is like, "Fuck this! I'm out!" And just totally dipped out. I just jumped ship. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, you know, did they tuck and roll? That's all I want to know. Uh, uh, we, probably right. just you know, dived, dived swan dived. <laughs> okay, well then I'm gonna take over this ride. Um. Scott. Oh, we're fucked. Yeah. You're yeah. fucked. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. I want to talk about your book. And I did is not it, create this monster. Is it long? Which one? Your, <laughs> your, new, <laughs> your new one. Your new one. Your new one you got coming out. 
Yes. What's the title? Where can we find it? The title is The Ghosts of the Maria Doria. Uh, it is about a haunted cruise ship. It is available on Kindle and Kindle Unlimited on, on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And the print version should be coming out hopefully in about a week or so. I think I've got all the, the issues. And let me do some shameless self-promoting since we are do talking it, do it. Ultimate do it. history. My book, Operation Majestic, in which the Nazis win World War II because of alien technology provided by the Anunnaki. So we have to go back to ancient Egypt to stop the Nazis. Oh, nice. my God. That sounds amazing. That one's out, right? Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, an Operation Majestic. Here we go. That one in hardcover. Yeah, adding it to the list. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah, Operation Majestic's been out for what a year now. Mm, I don't think it's been that long, but it's been out for pretty uh, pretty while. Yeah. Probably about eight months. I remember seeing the covers on the Facebook. Yeah. But the new one's really good, that guys. Is. Oh, thank you. It really. Well, I told you that when I read it. I know, but thank you. I like, but but I really liked that last chapter. I thought that was best. Oh, <laughs> now we're getting teased. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Amy, I want to talk to you because you are starting, you started a Fiverr and you are getting more into voice work. Selling pictures of my feet. Oh, yeah. Not, no, 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 yeah. No, not, I, not your only fan. <laughs> <laughs> she jumped right in. Two feet. <laughs> oh. Uh, I took that data joke from <laughs> Scott. I was about to say, do you just want to join the cast permanently? Like, yes, please. Yeah, you, you <laughs> fit seriously, in. that comment alone. Yeah. That yeah, I've been waiting for the moment, and there. They're well. asking you, Amy. What he? What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can you can tell us. You can actually first start by telling us um, about your whole, what you're hoping to accomplish, and what you what you want to do with your voice stuff. I just created a Fiverr where I am offering voiceover work. I do voiceovers for uh, audiobooks, you know, narration, phone systems, just whatever you need a, a female voice for. And are you, I'm, are you I'm going to get on Amazon? I'm going to be on Amazon. Yep. I need to get my official website set up. I mm -hmm. actually uh, just. I kind of had a uh, fire lit under my ass when you were here because you were like, oh, I just got published. Oh, I'm already working on the second book. And I was like, God damn, I'm not even on Fiverr yet. So I'm, I'm working on, you know, doing all of that and, and balancing my time. But I'm really trying to pursue voice work and that entire realm, voice work, voice acting, you know, book narration. Awesome. awesome. Well, hey. I'm, I'm going to cool. literally be starting soon trying to narrate for the first time ever a lit RPG by one of my friends. It's not to be, you know, put on Audible or anything like that. I mean, unless it actually turns out good, which I don't expect. But what advice would you give me as someone who has never done this before? And I'm literally going to have my laptop out here and I'm going to be recording from there. And I'm going to have the book itself on a tablet. And son of a fucking bitch. We can hear you. We can hear you. Damn. Crabs again. Yeah, yeah, I think they, they bit them too hard this time. <laughs> <laughs> you need to treat them a little nicer. I I sent him the cream that he was supposed to put on. I don't know what he did with it. I hope okay, this is this last this time toast. last time this he ate it. So. Yep. Okay, wait, wait. This is what I come back to. This is the cream that I sent. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I drop off a second. I come back to that. Crap. It wasn't as good as the yeast bread. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jack, the injection supposed to go in your ass, not your ear. Oh, I already <laughs> told you I don't crap. have an ass, but I got good ears. <laughs> I remember a show where you put that thing right up in the camera. camera. <laughs> he already got the injection in his ass, and that's how he got the crabs. <laughs> yeah, I missed a lot. Well, I was gone for that moment. Well, you know what's going to be funny is when Jeff goes back and watches it, and all of a sudden he leaves, and we all get like adult. Yeah, <laughs> we have we a conversation. He comes back, and we're back to ass cream and everything else. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> 
<laughs> I, 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 I have no explanation and uh, no apologies. <laughs> bye, Lee. Bye, bye Lee. Bye, Lee. Bye, bye, Lee. <laughs> Enjoy the hangover. Yeah. Oh, he and, and the beauty that is, tomorrow. He he's got to do a show with me tomorrow morning at oh. uh, eight a.m. Oh. oh, he's gonna be fun. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's just be there like. like what, Jack? <laughs> okay. See, Tim. Tim is one of those stalwart people who are trying to make this a serious show. <laughs> you <laughs> this I mean, kind of. You, you poor be. magnificent bastard. Yeah. <laughs> That's your heart. You should know I better. I try to hit him with a patent movie quote. All right. <laughs> right. Well, Lee doesn't have any problems. He doesn't get gang bangs. I mean, gang overs. I mean, hangovers. <laughs> wow. And I remember Sorry. everything. Uh, I yeah, she fits right. <laughs> I'm hoping she oh, doesn't breathe. remember that post. <laughs> First time for a gang over? Oh, they're fun. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you put that. It was just perfect. <clears throat> oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway. Hey, when are we going to be able to talk about your new book, uh, Scott, with spoilers? Obviously not today, because I've I'm just like wanting to what? blurt out everything right now. No, um, we can you know we can talk in about a, <laughs> two weeks or so. Mm-hmm. You know how long it took to write that review? I kept going. <laughs> I can't say that yet. No, damn no. it. Homicidal ghost. I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'm gonna leave that. The next one in the Tatiana series is gonna take place in a haunted asylum, and there's gonna be a lot more deaths in that one. Cool. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. I found out you can, it costs a fortune, but you can spend the night at that famous asylum in Tennessee. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can, I was like, shit, I got to get the money and do that. Yeah. You also can, it's, I think the one you're talking about is what, Waverly? Yes. Waverly. Waverly. Yes. Okay. And then you also, in Ohio, they have um, Mansfield Prison. You can go tour. You could do an overnight haunted, especially close to uh, October, but it gets filled up quick. You can do an that. overnight haunted investigation. I went on a day tour, and that place is definitely creepy. Wow. Well, There's, the movie Memorabilia alone was cool. Or, you know, they find out you, or that's where they filmed Shawshank Redemption, Tango and Cash, and a few other yes. things. Um, Air Force One, part of Air Force One was, uh, oh, yeah. was filmed in the back. Yep. You know, um, Arizona has a camping weekend called Surviving Jason. Oh. No, really? I did not know that. Yeah. What what part of Arizona? I Pretty big state. I, I think it's Phoenix. But I, 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 it was a long time since I looked it up. But yeah, they have a, it, What is yeah. that? What no, hang, on, is hang, that? On. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think he's yeah. playing I'm the... I what am I looking button. at in this picture? Well, I don't even want to I've seen to movies like this. Oh, there oh, we go. I thought it was his nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> I reframe and Scott just takes it right off. He's like, he was, Dan's he not going to say it. He was showing off his bald chinny and uh, <laughs> His goods. <laughs> what? So it was a little bit close. Get over it. <laughs> But yes, Tim, your death when it when it occurs will be epic. He's referring to a little game I'm playing with my new series, Epic Mayhem. Ah. Uh, I, I got to be the Law and Order dead body, by the yes, way. Yes, you're the first dead body, Jack. Congratulations. <laughs> there better be an explanation or a description at some point about how I went down, yeah. because, dude. What you did to me was epic. He's confused. He wants to know. <laughs> this is funny. I don't Ooh. even know yet. Oh, he got that perfect, you know, look at that one yeah. froze. I'm going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> you I didn't say anything, I Jack. freeze when I'm talking. I look like I'm, you know, drunk or at a gay bar or something. <laughs> You look like you look like you're getting ready to take a load of the face. <laughs> the next box just got checked. Oh my god. We're hitting them all today. And Jennifer's mm. the one that's taking us down. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, Amy, come on this podcast, she says. It'll be yeah. fun, she says. Hey. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> Little did you know you were going to get sexually harassed. They're going to apply for a loan in a few years and they find this cast. <laughs> yeah. I, I say this knowing we're two people who don't know each other but both know Jen. You should have known. <laughs> I know, I know. I was just messing around. Oh. I knew goddamn well what I was in for. I was woman for like less than a week and she started like lighting me up with a bunch of really uncomfortable jokes. And it's like, okay, that's how it's going to be. All right. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. what, what Tim is referring to is central to this epic mayhem universe. Yes. Is the idea that street gangs control the city, mm -hmm. control the streets, like is in the warrior. Yeah. And I have come up with three names for the gangs and someone came up with a fourth one. But I need a total of eight. So anybody that comes up with a good oh. name for a gang, a street gang, uh, will get to die in some completely oh. senseless and gratuitously violent fashion. Oh so you God. just need a name for a street book. gang? Can you yeah. post on your can you post on Asylum of Fear the four names you've got? The four names, the four names we have, I will post that. But the four names we have now are the bully boys, so the lizard kings, the psycho bitches, and the new one that came up is uh, the Nosferatu gang. Oh, <laughs> That one's unique. I was, yeah. I thought pig fuckers was going to be great, and now I realize that I've been outdone again. I'm going to have to start drinking on every show. Now you've seen you've seen the Warriors, right? Yeah, I love that movie. All the street gangs dress to play. Yeah, come out. It was the baseball players that scared the yeah. fuck out of me. The Furies. All of the gangs, the Furies. All Thank of you. The gangs dress in costumes. So you got to imagine what was the costume for the pig fuckers? Overalls, and that's about all. Big yes, beards, yeah. potato oh, chip stains. Wait, no, no, no. Overalls and Bowie knives, and then like straw hats. And bacon on their breath. <laughs> straw hats is just too much, man. Okay, truck. I don't know. That might that might hit right on the mark. Lots, hat? lots of bacon. No, on the oh, baseball caps. I'm, I'm thinking Rocky <laughs> Horror Killer Gang. I want to see Jeff right a gang of guys in nylons and high heels. <laughs> Cross dressers. There's, yeah, a, there's a gang. Weird neighborhood. The, Tran the Transylvanians. Those oh, aren't gangs. That's Transylvanians. The Transylvanians. That's actually pretty good, Jeff. Yeah. Transylvanians. That's why I did. I wasn't being serious. I thought it really sucked. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible name. God damn. Hmm. Uh, Jen, I'm always here to promote you in any way no, I can. Uh, <laughs> there we go. It will be Please. The Transylvanians is really unique. Please. That, that's a good Please name. Should be in there. Yes. The Frankenfurters. Yeah, Frank yep. <laughs> yes. I mean, how ridiculous do you want this? And what about the ghosty toasties? <laughs> that sounds like what I'm having for breakfast. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, yeah, we're Tim. going ridiculous. Oh, Tim, you don't want that book. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want that it book. It would be in every porn shop across America. <laughs> <laughs> How about the skanky sabers? Skanky sabers. Mm -hmm. oh, Man. You want to mess with them? That's Satin, satin panties. Mm. <laughs> well, we already, we yeah, they wouldn't have much Scott body or, or Jeff didn't one of you. We, we already have the the psycho. The bar, yeah, there the could the be bar. more than they can could have been the psycho bitches. Yeah, but they, they, yeah, but they, they were like, a group that went off. They skewed off because they didn't like whoever was in charge of psycho bitches. I don't well, want you to kill me off. Kill someone I, else off. And, and like, off. You, <laughs> and like uh, Jen had said about son of a, I, is it working? No. Yeah, kind of. We don't know what you're talking about. You're fine. No, nope, he froze. He, he froze. froze. Reasons, I just feel like you me know, all right, we went too far. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to start pretending to freeze, just make these weird poses like. <laughs> judgy, judgy faces? <laughs> and you're all, you guys be like, I can see you, <laughs> an asshole. <laughs> no, you can't. 
Okay, well, you're and, back. And, 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 you know, and like Jen had said <laughs> uh, in one of our text things about her, her name that she was going with, make them dominatrixes. Where the skanks, yes. they would be a lot less clothed, less armor. The, the, they wouldn't be the same. Those are the psycho bitches. Yeah. Those are the psycho bitches. The the satin satin panties can be the the like the pink ladies from exactly. Greece. <laughs> well, they gotta be from Greece. <laughs> the movie, jackass. <laughs> oh, hey, look, Just, forgive me. I hang out with Angel a lot. The so pink the ladies? Race. Hey, Olivia Newton John just, uh, that, just that's your problem. Right, so wait, slightly <laughs> off topic. If I wanted to antagonize Angel, I just have to like rag on the Romans, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, yeah God, I mean, none. if you and want got... if you want war. Right. Yeah. And you have you about want... half oh, yeah. a sentence before you won't be able to speak again. <laughs> yeah, and, and he'll bring in Aiden. And once he brings in Aiden, forget about it. Oh, no, yeah, it's done. I'm not, I don't have to back it up with facts. It's just like, how long can I go on to like boost his blood pressure with the point he quits? About half a second. Uh, he is passionate. He loves it. Yeah. Oh, God, I love those people. Jack, I mean that in the right way. What about the toe, yeah. toe cutters? Do you know who, remember who Toe, toe Cutter was? Oh, From Mad shit. Max. Yes. Yes. Uh, is he from the, the Zed Runners? No, he's from the first one, the original Mad oh Max, I God. believe. Well, yeah, I can't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're called the Zed Runners. <laughs> <laughs> what did I miss? I missed something. Max's last <laughs> <This one>. oh. <laughs> the menstrual cycles. Okay, I got it. <laughs> All right, yeah, they're in. So Jeff, good. Jeff, right well, them the in one right now. That was the raw oysters. Jeff, you really, you really are not regretting doing this. <laughs> that wins. That wins. I don't care what you say. Yeah, that wins. The one. Yeah, if you want a real gang names, you should not have brought it up on this show. No. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Somehow oh. we've got to work. Somehow we've got to work angel leakage into the podcast. No. Uh, no, God, man. Uh, the, 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 uh, the rest of the time. Uh, the drippy the, bottoms. Ah, I <laughs> got it. <laughs> the sports squad. Gross. Ew. No, that could be male like or female. Uh, you know like what? You can do the... Whatever, and they call themselves Montezuma's Revenge. <laughs> mm -hmm. just, call them, just call them AL West. That's like the calmest thing you're ever going to get. Everything else is going to be gross. <laughs> the wet hey, blasters. Yeah. Hey, you're fine. The, the, cr <laughs> the crowns, the crowns of crones. Oh, 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 that was terrible. That's, yeah, that's I know it's supposed to be, right? You're already dead, Jack. You can't get killed again. No, I, we can kill him. I'm He's our new Kenny. From the dead. I'm like a, I'm like a Jedi. <laughs> you killed Kenny. Yep. But anyway, there are five people already on the die horrible list. We have Tim Brooks, Beverly D. Lodd, Sharon Hendricks, Scott Baker, and the guy oh, who gave me the Nosferatu's, Mark Peter Mundrinich. Oh. Nice. Okay. What about the diamond cutters? That's not bad, Amy. So, so what, would that, what would that be? A gang of Jews? Oh. <laughs> have you ever heard? Everybody of the, does that. We have you ever heard of the purple gang? Have you ever heard of the purple gang out of Detroit? Yes. yes. Don't Ooh. with those guys. Mm. Mm. They could be mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, oh. oh, you know what? Okay, a, you guys are going to go all go note. ooh, but Jeff, if you want to do the Jew thing, go the underwater, the deep water Jews. I saw that somewhere. I have no idea what the hell that is. It just sounds funny. Deep water Jews. Okay. Look, I'm going to stay away from any are they Jew because I will piss I somebody. have no idea. I saw it somewhere on Facebook, and I'm like, what the hell is a deep water Jew? I even Googled it, and it said. Hmm. I just brought it up. I just brought it up because, you know, diamond cutters, diamond merchants. Yeah, I know the whole. Yeah. yeah. Rich, rich Jewish. 
Well, okay, I'm, I'm just going to stop this line right now. Not at all. I've overstepped it already. It's a mythical a creature. <laughs> there, there are a lot of Jewish people in the diamond industry. That's just a fact. I got to bring up another fact. You know, we got to figure out how to get Doc's audio on. I, I bet you she's saying all kinds of great <laughs> stuff. And we're just, <laughs> well, see, you know, I'm missing these messages because oh. Doc's talking. I'm like trying to lip read. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. Doc, I um, didn't realize, Doc, damn, you can't. <clears throat> what the hell are you doing, lady? Okay. Hang on. I'm sorry. She knows what we're doing. She can laughing at our joke. <laughs> Oh, she's laughing her ass off. I've been watching her. And she's probably been throwing out gem after gem of responses, and we're missing it. Yeah. Um, well, my aunt's in the comments, but decided to message me one first, and I told her she's got to let yeah. me know. <laughs> what? what do... I'm not, no, I'm not taking credit for that. That shit is gold. <laughs> I missed it, Jack. Uh, or Jason, I'm sorry. No, um, she hasn't put it up. She messaged me privately. Um, she called it the furnace filters for a Jewish gang. <laughs> oh, man. Look, I love the car behind her. I said, <laughs> no. Thank what you for it? taking the heat off me. <laughs> I said, oh, oh. recipe. Okay? What, about, what about Dutch ovens? Yeah. No, stop. It's because they oh, got oh, their oh, name. Oh, they got all their banned name. on Facebook. Wait a minute. No, they got, oh, I'm they part got, Jewish. You can't ban me. Uh, no, <laughs> they got their name because they actually raided and took over as their shelter a bean place where they make beans and stuff. What? And that's <laughs> who? Yeah, who did you? The, the group, the group you just named, Jen. The Dutch ovens. Actually, yes, because because they'd be gassy as hell. That's when I get oh. that. I get the Dutch oven beans. That's, okay, I get look, that. guys. I'm no. sorry. I'm not, yeah, I'm I went to, there. Yeah. That was a long walk to a very bad joke. The best <laughs> one we had so far, I think, is like one of them was no. the Transylvanians. What was the other one we loved? I don't even remember. There's Frank Furters. The, the Frank Furters. Frank Furters. Frank Furters. Pretty good. Yeah. The Frank and Furters. No, that wasn't was mine. The trans so. Kill me. T uh, Oh. Transylvania. Transylvania. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Tim had a good one. Forgetful. The raw oysters? <laughs> no, it was the menstrual cycles. That was the one I That was the one, one. Yeah, menstrual cycles. Before, yeah, that, before that, he put up raw oysters. Raw oysters. Raw oysters. Yeah. oysters. So, who there was, was actually that a, a gang of people with food poisoning. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> there was actually a band, Denmark? and I'm bringing it back home, called the Yeasty Girls. Oh, really? and they were oh man, they that's right up that's my alley. Like bringing it around full circle. There that's you go. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Let's bring it around full circle again. There was uh -oh. actually a band called Hitler's Left Testicle. I'm oh. not kidding. What? I am not kidding. Right in the well, There you go. Well, oh Hitler supposedly God. only had one testicle. Mm hmm. I, you know, so I just it, didn't even need to know that left, trivia. Was it the <laughs> left one or the right one? I mean, the only thing he was sure. missing. It must have been the left one if they named the band after him. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. No <laughs> well, you know, I, I never knew this. The what? Bridge in the River Kwai, the opening theme, the da 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 da, -da is actually a British World War II song. Hitler has only got one ball. Gerding has two, but they ask Paul. <laughs> Himmler has something similar. And poor Goebbels has no balls at all. Wow. And it was a very popular song. That's why they had the British soldiers whistling it, because it was a World War II ditty. But now we all know it as the uh, Colonel Bogey Mod. That's funny. Yeah. Fun facts. And we're talking Fun about balls again. From Scott. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and I am I, I refuse all the blame for all of this. Oh, we all know it was you. Who you who? started it? He Jack. was po mm -hmm. he was poking the bear before we even got oh, out of here. Oh yes, you were mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. poking mm -hmm. something. I deny it all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we only have six minutes left. We've oh, never been yeah. this quiet. Hey, we can actually end this smart. show with Jennifer having to say <laughs> where they can find her because she's got a book. Oh. 
That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, let's go down the list. Yeah, let's go down the list. Final thoughts. No, you guys about pretty much covered any fucking debauchery I had rolling around in my head. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. <then> some... <laughs> mm-hmm. I thought, I, look, all I'm going to say is I have found my home. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, have you got some news for us? I finally got my book out. It is done. It is yeah. right now currently in pre-order status on Kindle. I was um, the first one to ever buy it. He was the very first one to buy. <laughs> he was the first one to get me one, get one from I got me. To read a little Thank you very bit much. Of it. You did. <laughs> you did. Is, is it going to be in um, print? <laughs> but it, I'm hoping so. I have to talk to um, I have to talk to D about that. But we're going to discuss the print, and I'm assuming okay. that I'm just going to buy a bunch of them for myself and sign them and send them off if that's the case. But I have a Facebook, um, Jenna Motto Author. Um, I have a, I now have a uh, website, jenamatoauthor.net, where you can go and just check out my bio, read a little synopsis of the book and stuff like that and see the cover. And pretty much that is it. I'm super excited. You can find me under Jenna Motto, Amato on Amazon. So, and I'm already starting the second book. So, and, yeah, the second book is and, very and, so far. And, and we can all tell while, while you're thinking about narrating books as well. I'm, I'm actually the person that I, um, the person that I have doing it for the first one, the one who I actually based my main character off of in the first one, Jana. Her name, she's her real name is Jana. She is. I'm gonna hope, you know, hopefully have her do the first book. Uh, this next book is it's the group series, and this is Stacy. And Amy is definitely going to be doing my Audible for Stacy. And uh, awesome. you already got some of your uh, uh, you've already got some of your soundproofing stuff, right? I did get some of my stuff, but her, we're getting her all hooked up. Mm-hmm. Aha. Nice. Nice. Yes. Yep. So, thank Proud you. of you, Jen. Hell yeah, yeah girl. Yeah, that's Love awesome. You. I'm really You're looking rocking. forward to this book. I, I appreciate it. Um, just know that it might be a little slow, slower than, you know, not as much Stop action and adventure in the first book, but it's going to progressively get worse. Okay. So it which is, is awesome. To, and then by the last book, which is going just like to be Jason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah there the, you last, go. the last book is going to be Jason, modeled after our very own Jason, <clears throat> Aston. I'm sorry. And so it's going one, out with a bang. That oh, one is man. going to be a fucked up book. So he's going out Love with a bang. It. It's an erotic novel. <laughs> I'm not going to leave anything out, but uh, if I'm going to die in a zombie apocalypse, yes. <laughs> hey, look, it's I'm an not, erotic I'm... novel about a zombie apocalypse. Oh, is what oh, you're so hey, is that look. zombie erotica then? Yeah, yeah I'm, uh. I'm not uh, confirming <laughs> yeah. or no, denying yeah. that he may be watching videos of me caressing my nethers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Look, I'm I'm not into the stroking no. of coin purses. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, most people aren't, and that's where the problem is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Break it down for them. <laughs> oh, Dungeon Dan, please rescue us. Rescue this. <laughs> There's no rescuing anybody here, much less myself. <laughs> Um, you find me on Real Nine Horror Group, and by the way, I've already started making banners. We're going to start doing some live uh, streaming and podcasting. Yay! And I'm hoping all you guys are going to be guests on the show. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Good. That's our first show. Then are we show drinking? We are nope. going to drink, smoke, and yeah. show the world that it's really a fuck up place to be. I am <laughs> so I'm there. In. Totally. Hang on. I'm bringing my camera so up. Yes, I'm in. So totally freaking in. Right no, we're gonna be talking. We'll be talking about horror movies and everything that Real Nine's about. Um, yes. Excellent! I'm so excited for you. Yeah, yeah no I doubt. Mean, 
you know, Real Nine started from a podcast that Kevin and I did. You know, it was uh-huh. just audio. And um, then we stopped for a while. And then I started doing this. And I'm like, dude, we should start doing the video podcast thing. I think it'd be great. So I mean, much how yeah. hard can it be? <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we're right. going to get it. You know, after this show, Kevin and I are going to do a couple practice runs. Like I said, I've been making my banners and stuff. Damn. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll let you know when it's going to go on. All right. Awesome. Excellent. Nice. Doc, what you got going on? Doc. Hello, Doc. Oh, we still can't hear her. All right. Lip reading time, everybody. It's got to be. It's going to be funny. What Doc is trying to say is that she has found the cure for cancer. Yes, she has. And she's going to tell us. Um, well, let me see. I've got to read. I, I've got to work on your new book. Can you hear me? Yes. Now we can. Oh, we can now. Yeah. You can. I'm just laughing while you're speaking. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Japanese film. That's weird. Yeah, it says I'm going. talking. You're talking. <laughs> Well, at least we're making her laugh. Yeah. yeah. There's one. Oh, you can hear me now? Oh, yep. we got you, Doc. <laughs> yes. Good. Okay, everybody. Buy Scott's new book. Buy Jeff's new book. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it that way. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, we okay. can. Yeah, you're just on too late, Mike. <laughs> Um, and now what I was what I was trying to say is is read Scott's new book and, and and wait for Jeff's book coming out the end of the month. Go for it. It's pretty darn good. Thank you. And I've I have cured cancer, by the way. I, I did and <laughs> I'll tell people about it. Yep. Oh one day. <laughs> awesome doc. Scott. Oh, um, New the newest Tatiana book in the Tatiana Paranormal series, The Ghost of the Maria Doria, is out on Kindle, Kindle Unlimited. Pick it up. Uh, the print version should be available in about a week. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, best place, Facebook, Scott Baker's Realm of Zombies, Monsters, and the Paranormal. And you can find all my books on Amazon. Uh, Amazon, my office page is Scott M. Baker. Nice. Awesome. I can't Thanks wait to get that. the print version. Thanks. Okay, Amy. Uh, if if anybody, I, I well, um, I'm a little more warped now than when I came in. And I don't know how that <laughs> good. Is good. We did our job. I'm not Back mad. To everybody. I'm not mad. Because <laughs> um, she wasn't traumatized enough by my three weeks being there. <laughs> oh yeah, we were, we were the big fat gnarly cherry on top yep. <laughs> yeah, one more really one another more. ball reference <laughs> <laughs> another ball reference um but if anybody's looking for a uh somebody to voice something for them you can find me on fiverr and it's amy lily i don't know why i, I can't change it a-i-m-e-e-l-a-l-y so but yeah and you can also look up amy brooks radio and you'll find like my social media Stuff okay. like that. Fantastic. I'm nice. fun. Okay, I'm wishing yeah, you good, you great luck on that. Dude, yeah. I, I, I'm going to tell you what I got is too much insanity because I work too much during the week, but then I decide, hey, instead of having free time on the weekend, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do four podcasts. Starting <laughs> off with um, The Written Undead, which will hit at 1, uh, 1 p.m. Central every Saturday. But now we have moved my Adaptive World podcast to 8 a.m. Central on um, Saturday mornings. And then every two weeks, I'll be on this damn show with these crazy-ass people right here. We love you, Jack. But I also get to do the show with Angel, the Angelus Maximus podcast, which is freaking so much fun because we get some interesting guests. Jeff has been one I was on there times. Once. So, haha, make fun of the history, bitches. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Speaking of history, Scott and I will be doing another Battle Tested History where we will cover on Monday Chariots of the Gods. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah. That should be a lot of fun. That one will be interesting. Yeah. Well, actually, I've seen, I've seen the past two, and 
man, you guys talk way over my head. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it's, it's like educational. Funny. I feel like I've graduated a class or something. Well, well, D well, Dan, just so you know, with the way you've got your camera set up, you do look like you're uh, an old man who's only about like three feet tall, sitting in a little I tiny chair. I did it on chair. purpose. Yeah, yeah, it works. It was oh, trying to be an Uncle Oh, look at the doggy. Look at the baby dogs. See, yeah, pets sorry. show up in our Lily, shows. That's how Lily missed me. Lily she's missed me a lot. She's so happy to see you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My girl was right down here. That's right. I heard you telling her to go lay down earlier. <laughs> I was uh, like, and it, which made me look for mine. Mine were on the bed. So, <laughs> what, what, uh, hell, tell her to stand up. Hell, we're going to go a little over on the show. Hey. Fuck it. Put her up hey, here. Come yeah, on. Yeah. Hey, Let's see you know, the baby. Come on. I've read a little bit of that Von Daniken book, so I oh, might actually cool. check with you guys and watch Get the that. baby. She can't. Yeah, the baby's coming. Come on, girl. Up. Come on, go a little closer. Can you get rid of now, the Londa thing for a second? No, yeah, all we see. Yeah, yeah, get rid of the Londa thing. We love you, Londa. There she is. Oh, there she is. Hey, give me a kiss. Aww. What Good a baby. sweetie. Aww. Aww. All See, right. we're all crazy people here in the padded room, but we love the animals. Yeah, yeah. They, they keep us sane. I'm surprised yes. Chunk. I'm surprised Chunk Chester didn't jump on Amy's table while she was doing it. He's, well, he's he's sitting on that one spot on the floor. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. So, because I tore yeah. my well, floor up, and uh, meth oh. is crazy. I tore my floor up. No, I was kidding. Well, he'll grab um, him. Reach <laughs> out there and grab it. <laughs> I'll get him. Hang on. Yeah, get go him. ahead. Go get him. Sure. Bring the pets. Hey, Jason. Uh, yo, bring your pet on camera. What pet you got? No, don't ask him. That. Don't, 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 don't pull it out. What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, no, I oh there he is. Oh, I was that. gonna say Jen's all the way in Arizona. There he is. <laughs> There's the Chester. Oh, look at Jesus. that. Chester. Oh, he is a chunk. Yep. Yeah. He Come here, out a chunk. Oh, oh he's a not, he's a sweetie. Oh, Come he in. is. He's is he spoiled? Since we're doing oh, cats, we got another actually. One. Oh. Actually, he got my is a, a baby my from a cat that we were actually, oh, we were going to start a foster um, mm -hmm. uh, rescue for cats. Mm -hmm. And our first cat that we got, her name was Phoebe. And she had four very healthy babies and he was the biggest. Uh, mm -hmm. wow. And her and him have always been inseparable since oh. he was born. So that, yeah. that's the way it is with me and my pet and the severed head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at how cute he is. There she is. Yeah, that's yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Bring her close. I can't see. Yeah, I can't either. Uh, get to, oh, oh yeah. Look at the push yeah, she's like a twelve pound hey. cat, guys. Don't make me live her up. Yeah, yet. she yeah. is. <laughs> That's very detailed, Jeff. Yeah, she is a chunk. <laughs> hey, hey, Jeff, I'll uh, introduce that head to Ooh. Dead Fred. He he's my rotted skull. I just oh, don't know what box is in. There's my Maya. <laughs> I was gonna say if we have skulls, I got like three of those in here. <laughs> oh, you know, uh, you're not. So, you we should compare no. skulls. No, you weren't supposed to tell anybody that. Why is it men? Yeah, he, didn't, so he didn't name names. We don't know who they are. It's a black bear. It's a little baby. Hey, oh, okay. Go. That one. Yeah, yeah. We're that one. The other ones. Oh. No, you're Jesus making me have it. Oh, that's making me football. wonder. It's like, who'd y'all kill? Yeah. <laughs> uh, look, she's Italian and I'm. Oh, Asia. I like that, Scott. That. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's no, start no, pulling out props. I'm going to be. No, how, how we went from, from under. <laughs> pet week. I have no idea. <laughs> um, added room. Yes. We yes. had the. We had it's, the it's in the though. freaking name. It's so, in okay. the freaking name. So this, this podcast is like listening to Christopher walk and talk. All the thoughts are completely. <laughs> <laughs> so well, okay. today's, today's show was sponsored by Fermunda. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> last, um, last, yeah. last time it was at, you know leakage. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy spreads is, on your toast. Which we are still confirmed it was Jason's fault for that, right? I'm gonna have nightmares. On that note, thanks to everybody who showed up for the panel. Thank, thank you for having you. me. Thank thanks you. Thanks to everybody that 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 
nailed us Timed in. with their with their comment ninja activity. Oh. Thanks to Linda was who, solid. Thanks to everyone who watched it. Thanks, thanks to, to everyone, everyone who doesn't real. report us to the police. Yes. Definitely yes. thank you. <laughs> You're the real one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those are the real heroes. <laughs> but anyway, we will be back in two weeks. Yep. Where we will be discussing Dick uh, Cheese. Five Run, Jack, podcasts and writing. Ooh. Will we get to that? Me subject? likes. Which oh, I like it too. I just don't have any confidence yet. No. <laughs> Speaking of which, the, the uh, guest you had on Written on Dead. Josh. Dead. Yeah. yeah. We want him. Josh, like get him. Two weeks. And okay. he sounded like when I interviewed him, I told him about the padded room, and he sounded no, very he'll, interested. Trust me, he'll do it. He's oh, yeah. he's very interested in doing podcasts and stuff like that. Oh, he and actually, he's so smart. And and I'm sorry, I was yeah, I, I, yeah, I watched I watched. this morning. I watched. That was a great show. Yeah, I it figures we're gonna have him on again uh, at some point. But he uh he really enjoyed the podcast after I talked to him today and. He's looking forward to the next time, and I'm sure if I tell him in two weeks we got another podcast, and I'm sure he'd be like, "Yeah." I'm well, down. it's 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 specifically because I mean, we are going to be talking about writing, mm -hmm. and we are going to be talking about podcasting. Scott, are you coming? I can. I'm not going to be around that day. I'm going to Exeter, New Hampshire, because they're having a uh, big festival. Uh, on September 3rd, 65, is when everybody in Exeter saw this UFO. So they're having oh. a big, they're having a big uh, fair. It's not really a convention. So I want to go. I want to get some. I want to get some UFO T-shirts. There you go. You Heck know, yeah. Scott, you didn't have to make up a lie. You could have just said, "No, I don't want to be on the show next time." We yeah, wouldn't have had much. any hard. But you had to bring in UFOs and you know, go on to get abducted. Yeah. Show. Yeah, next week it'll be I got abducted. Sorry, I can't come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes, but then, but then There's you can a tell us all, in my ass. You can tell you can tell us all about the annual program. Yeah, How we'll, have, we'll have first hand. Does it? Oh, oh my room, god, baby. It, it, tell me you named that cat Church. Michelle. No, we named her Michonne. Michonne. Oh, I love Michonne too. Yeah. Well, after you get abducted by aliens, you can come on my podcast and oh, talk okay. about it. Okay. Yeah, we'll sure, talk about this is what it's all about. Make Network. sure you go in depth with the anal leakage and whether yeah. the probe gives you that. So, oh, yeah. oh that's I, a good everybody's question. Everybody's been wondering. That's a damn good question. <laughs> I, I heard there was a whole carterization process. Thank so, you. <laughs> You'll have to let us know if it's true. I was really yeah. hoping that anal leakage died in that last one, but thank you all for resurrecting that every time. Negative. It's never going to go away. Sir. I have never. Been, this is my first time, and I know that it'll come back up. Because <laughs> anal leakage well, always does. Well, because anal leakage it, is constant. It always mm. returns. Yeah, but now, it's like the gonorrhea. Real is, the real question is, you know, does the bunghole recover? I mean, does it slap back together at some point? I, mean, I really do not in, in want what? to know. Inquiring so, minds want to know. I don't know. I kind of do now. <laughs> yeah, I got my interest. I'm like, disgusting, but damn. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, if, it avo if it avoids massive impact for He's long enough, down. does it close up? You know. you know, you could just ask the porn star. She could probably tell Yeah. You. Or he. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but the, the shit I had to spray on myself afterwards, you know, I might. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You know. Uh, Be all cootied uh, out. Mm. What the fuck? Thank you to our happened. audience. This has been the padded room. Run! Please <laughs> 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 <laughs>